live in West Palm Beach, Florida. Well, hello, everybody. Look who's here. Yes, indeed. It's the OG old girl, Nance, with this gorgeous, good-looking guy, Drew, here in the booth. This is my favorite <laughs> tournament. It's the Saturday $250 buy-in. Double green chip bounty. Yes, $10,000 guarantee. And you guys, we're going straight to the action because you haven't missed a thing. Drew, we definitely have an exciting lineup today. We got a bunch of regulars and a couple of newbies, so it should be fun to watch. Here we're going right into the action. We got some cards. Looks like Brett's waking up with the pocket girls and Betty with that king queen. Little move there of all in. So Betty opened with the king queen, pretty standard. Once Brett re raises, she knows she's no good. She ain't open fold yet. Yes. No. She said, I had your other girl, though. I was holding your other girl. Yes, Drew, I'm so happy to be here with you today. It's awesome, awesome. I love bounty tournaments. I mean, the action is there. Bounties are fun. Speaking of the oh. bounty tournament, it actually is, uh, it's fun to me to notice that the uh, this is one of those times where they actually did not take their bounties back. So we're still playing for bounties. This I just feel like, uh, you know, the, the, the structure of the tournament changes a bit when everybody takes back their bounties. Nobody's headhunting, nobody's going for the bounties. So now the bounties are still live. And I think that's going to increase a little bit of the action. I, and I love that too, Drew. I think that's what's making a bounty tournament so amazing. It's kind of a it's bounty tournament. Yes. I mean, you're, you're fun. It, it, it's that's the whole purpose. Yeah. Every time you knock somebody out, they get 50 bucks in their pocket, just like that, just like that. Easy money, free money. So you got to know these guys that are at this final table, this awesome final table, already have money in their pocket because they knocked out. These players, we started with 51 players this morning, Drew. Now we're we do have, yeah, we're not in the money just yet. No, we're paying the so top So the potential six. for people to have no bounties and no money is there, but we got a lot of chip stacks here. But most of these people, just to get to this final table, knock somebody you out most it. likely, you and they have some money in their pocket. Couple. So true. I'm going to get these payouts on the screen for you, too. But just so that you know, first prize is going to take down $3,061. Second is going to get $1,893. Third is going to get $1,240. Fourth is going to get $857. Fifth gets $628. Sixth gets $481, plus those bounties in their pocket. And, Drew, we're back to the action. Looks like Mark wakes us up with a seven. Kevin with the Kennel Club hand suited K9. It was Kevin who raised pre. Mark defended the front of big, flopped an ace. Kevin continued. I think we're going to see a, a slowdown here on the turn with a check check, most likely, unless he can, unless Kevin finds a reason to fire that second barrel. Exactly, my dear. Oh, I like it. He's reaching for chips. Oh, he's thinking about it. Yeah, he's check, gonna check. check. I was, my first instinct was right. You are totally on money. Right now. Here. See, Mark's going to try to get some value, going for thin value. I'm going to guess he picks around 16000 <laughs> I think that's the perfect size bet. Just kidding. I already knew what he was going to bet. He that's such a tiny bet for the size of the pot. He bet 16000 into 200. Into a $200,000, $3,000 yeah, pot. that's wild. I totally agree with you, my dear. Couldn't agree more. I feel like... Said Mark had 90k, but he's got more like 150. Hello, crazy. How are you, dear? Go, Mika. We all love Mika. She's just an angel. She's she's my girl. From hey, we got girl power here tonight. We got <laughs> Betty on the table, Mika on the table, surrounded with these guys. Oh, smack. Mika is the bomb. Crazy. She's definitely a, a regular to our live stream. She's been at many final tables. She's got what it takes. She chopped up uh, one of our monthlies not too long ago with Mr. Raminator himself. Absolutely. Yeah, she's on fire. She was in that multi-flight tournament, and she and Rami, the Raminator, oh, yeah. they did chop. Rami the Raminator. Keep him over here. Well known in the South Florida tournaments. Without a doubt. <laughs> Betty's there making fun of me. It's funny. Oh, snap. <laughs> We 
you got Matt with a pair. Going all in, he's short. He's super short. So yeah, he's got he's less than 10 bigs. It's, yep. It's now or never. Yeah, or absolutely. Die. And he wakes up with a great pocket pair there, a pocket uh, pair. Mika's got just enough to call and a lot of chips, too. It's got to yeah. be a flip, actually. Right, my dear. If she wasn't big blind, it makes all the sense of the world crazy. Thank you so We're much. We're off to the races. Oh, good job, Tuan. Like good job, Tuan. There we go. I told Tuan to make sure he frames the cards, yes. and I'm now seeing it in real time. Ace oh. right in the window. Right in the window. Yeah, Mika takes a big lead now. Uh, Matt, unfortunately, has two outs. Yes. And we have our first final table casualty. Oh, Matt, listen, congrats. You did such a great job. Great game. Yeah, Matt's another one we've seen plenty of, and we'll see again. He's a regular here in the tournament scene and here at the Palm, the Palm Beach Kennel Club. So true, Drew, absolutely right. And again, most of these guys already have money in their pocket because they knocked somebody out. They got 50 bucks every time they did that. Another bounty for Mika. And you know what? Another bounty goes to Mika's right. And Crazy, thank you so much. Thank you. That's so sweet. We love you for saying that. Let me see if I can get this on the screen. Yeah, that's Shamika. Let's see if we get that. Oh, we got a quick color up break here. There we go. So I got the uh, payouts. They should be on your screens at home, guys. Uh, they're already inputted in. I told you them verbally, and I inputted them in. So you should have no problem getting that info. Anytime you want to see the payouts for this tournament, just type in exclamation payouts, as you see as I've done on the screen, and they will show up. Hey, look, I'm in two places at once. Hello, Brian. That's magic. Wait, Brian is not in a final table. I don't see no Brian's here, buddy. I don't think Brian was entering into this tournament. Oh, we got a little tears, little tears, Brian. I'm going to give a shout out to our production crew today. Just amazing. Uh, and we are such a great team. We've got Sue and Tuan with Jason and Steph on the way. We've got Kevin running this daytime tournament. I mean, we have the A team in the house. And I have this good looking guy, Drew, next to me in the booth. We have any events coming up? We have a bunch of stuff coming up. I you can't don't find know. the paperwork. Don't worry, because <laughs> I got this We have stuff coming all. up. Don't worry. Oh, no. April 4th through 7th is our, ma it's our monster multi-flight once uh, again. There we go. Our next monthly coming Right. Up. Exactly. $300 buy-in. It's a 100-plus guarantee. We crushed it. Last time it was over $260,000. Oh, yeah. It always gets over. Hi, yeah. And if you can't afford the $300 buy-in, guess what? $65 satellites. You'll get in. Satellite with a 60 satellite. Yes. Perry, I'll never forget him. That was a couple of... Months, months back, Perry, $65 satellite, gets him into the multi-plate. He gets in third for some 15 k oh, Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. Hello. We have a whole mess of things to talk about, but we'll bring you back to the action. We're on hand four. Blinds are at 2,000, 4,000, 4,000. And we're just bringing you back things. But I'll get you all filled in on all the events coming up. we got truckloads of things coming up. Oh, I like this, Brett, with the ace jack of clubs, Drew. I love the spot. Late position, folded to him. Three and a half X itch. I like the X itch. X ish. Yeah, Peter not feeling frisky with the ace five off. Good fold by Peter. It's a very good fold. I would have I would have seen a flop and probably lost. <laughs> you never know. Might have come down ace five right on the flop. Or a couple of fives on the flop. That's the way we'll I snap. run. Might come ace jack five if I was sitting there. Yeah, but you know what? I'm in the booth, so it would be different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now, we've got Eric that uh, we just had Jaden in the box. Eric now has taken over. A little dealer switch there. And yes, awesome dealers. I mean, hey, guys, you know, it's PBKC, 1111 North Congress, located right across from PB International Airport. You know the line. Hop on a plane, jump on a bus, get in your car, come and see us. We're here all day, all night. And we have a nighttime tournament as well, guys. You can see our tournament schedule. 
We got so many things coming up. Oh my God, Drew, on April 12th, we got the $10 poker party. That's always a lot of fun. And on April 21st, we got the Great Charity Tournament. I mean, that's an amazing event that benefits charities like autism. And I mean, unbelievable. You can look at our website, pbkennelclub.com, get more poker info. party? Yeah, $10. We got a poker party? Yeah. I love poker and I love parties. You it know sounds what? Like, it sounds like a fun time. Jason in the house. Oh, let me tell you something, Lijo. Thank you so much. Lindsay, wow, you're amazing. Flop. You're amazing, my girl. We got I a like cheap flop limped four ways. <sighs> Absolutely. Nobody taking a stab, so let's go. Uh, we got, we're going to go and see a flop here. Ooh, nine. Mystery hand for Anthony oh, on the yeah. big blind. Halpert hits the nine, of course. Anthony has got a mystery <laughs> hand here, dude. Halpert going on. Halpert got a pair. He says, I'm good to go. Don't know what Anthony has. It's obviously not a pair. You are obviously correct. <laughs> Lucky guess. Lucky guess. Lindsay, you are amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. You rock my girlfriend. We'll be dealing you some cards downstairs. Don't you worry. We'll be getting them back. We'll be getting them back. Let us know in the chat who you're rooting for. Absolutely. We just love having you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, this is live. You know, just follow, like, subscribe. <coughs> you know what, Lindsay? Thank you so much for that compliment. We take pride in what we do. We appreciate that. You're amazing, girlfriend. You're the most beautiful. We love you, dear, so much from the bottom of my heart. But, you know, yeah, get on Twitch, YouTube. Follow, like, subscribe. Easy as peasy. We got some hands here, honey. Brett with the ace, seven of clubs. Mark with the ace, deuce of spades. And Halpert got a nice hand with that king queen. Halpert already limped in with the king queen off. Oh, smack. Dabba. He's out of position. Mark's going to take advantage of that. He's going to punish the limper. I like Mika with the jack ten. I think she's going along. Mika's going to play her position yes. behind Mark. Yes. What do we got here? Peter with a very playable King-10 decides not to play his button. That's okay, too. There's a lot of action in front of you. Maybe you want to find a better spot. Back to Halpert. Oh, no. Kevin. It's Kevin's Kevin in there. Yes. Five suited. I like it. Yes, my dear. There's an action hand. I don't see. Wow. I was going to say, I think Halpert might like the odds, but he doesn't want to play multi-way out of position. It's also a smart move to get out of the way. He's just not feeling it. Oh, my. P you know. You know I know. Look at Kevin flopping bottom, too. Oh, Mark with a flush draw, where he's going to continue. I feel like when he does raise pre and continue, he's got, his range seems pretty wide at this point. So Mika true. Mika missed, nothing for her there. She's going to stay about the way now. Kevin, I was going to say, he could raise or call. He's trapping when he calls I here. like it. He's I like trapping. it a lot. I oh, think it's a great. Oh, that's a raise. Ooh, he did raise. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I thought he was calling, but that's a raise to 26. He, uh, he With the min click, I don't see now. I don't see Mark folding, obviously, at all. <coughs> at the minimum, he could. He could. He could flat here and see what he does on the turn. That's probably what he's going to do. I yeah. think so, because he's got eight outs here, so he's definitely going to go along for the ride. He's got a chance right. to hit the nuts. Without a doubt. He's got position, too. He gets to see. Gets he got to see a pretty cheap. See, yeah, we'll picks up a straight him. draw to go with his flush draw. Three Absolutely. would give him a straight. To be fair, like a seven would be a scare card. A seven or eight would be a scare card <laughs> for Kevin. I think he knows that. That's why he's going to... Lead out again. Let's see what the bet size is. 47 into a pot of just under 100. Mark is getting a little, about 3 to 1 odds on his hand. What cool. he got? He's got 10 outs twice. He He's got a 4 to 1 hand. Interesting. That's close. That's on the cusp, actually. It is. It's very, very. I feel like if you, if you, if you add in some applied odds of what he could win on the waiver by hitting, I think he might want to call here. Um... I think a raise would be very interesting, but you would have to have a nice read on your opponent oh, to get away with that one. I'm not sure. I think the call would be the... I could see all options being, you know, if, if he just wants to not peel. I could see him raising, calling exactly. or folding, literally. I could see him doing all a any of those. Any one of those moves. Like he's, he's going to flat here. I think the call is probably a smart move, too. Really do. And you know NY Poker Guy. You know I know. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us. And you're right on point, my dear. Right on point. Yeah, there's a call. Yeah, he did say call. 
Like I said, I, I Too bad we like can't have an action card on the river. We can't have a six or five of spade on the river because Ooh. they're already up there. But I think the the best card for Mark at this point would be a three. That would be because it looks a lot like he's got the flush draw. Without a doubt. What is it? I can't see I it. Can't see here. I feel like it's going to be a red paint. Oh, it's a seven. Ooh. That's a scary card for both hands. Now, Kevin checking. I think he'd rather check call instead of get raised. Exactly. This would be a very interesting bet if Mark could pull it off. Nah, he's, he's gonna not going to do it. Kevin's going to win a sizable pair. pot with two pair. Two big stacks going at it. That was well done, though. Well played by both. Very well played by both players. It's a nice pot to be raking I wonder in. if a bet on the river would have taken it down. I don't know. Because what, I mean, the only hand that Mark could be representing that he raised pre and he called call. Pocket eight, is it? He would have to, it would have to be a very sizable bet to get away with that one. You know, it's basically <coughs> manual, Lens. It's really, we're watching, seeing it. They are upstairs as well. And that's the dealer announcing it verbally. He makes the verbal announce of the Yeah, we do have raise. somebody backstage. Correct. So that's basically how it's done. So everybody's watching and everybody's contributing to make this thing run as smooth as it does. And Lindsay, thank you so much. You're an angel. You're not only gorgeous, but we <laughs> love you. We love you. So even further behind the scenes, we have somebody on the table. They would be communicating with the person backstage in case they can't, uh, in case they can't hear the bet sizing. We might have to let them know. Hey, dealer, speak up. Speak, speak up. Speak with your chest, boy. Mika waking up with premium Ooh. right there. Hello, hello, hello. The weapons of mass destruction for Mika. But can she get action? That's the important question. No, let's see if K9, the Kettle Club, that's the Kettle Club have. I don't know. Kevin just won a nice pot. Maybe he wants to play the rush, but I feel like he might just want to stack his chips. Nope, he's going to play the rush. I like it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, he's, he's got jacks. Kevin's got a hand. <laughs> Holy smoker. Here's a bit of a cooler alert. I thought, it, who had the K9? I guess it was oh, Anthony on the yes. button, maybe. We were at a little, little, it was a little delayed action, just a Mika little. Mika licking her chops right now. Oh, Mika, he, she loves this. Mika made the original original race to 10, and now the three bet by Kevin. Come on, Brian. All right, four bet coming in. Uh, what was he, to 20, to 39? Yeah, as I was going to say. 100 a good number, I thought maybe. Oh, wow. Oh, smack dab. All in from Kev Kevin feeling confident with the jacks. I'm sure he thought he was flipping, or maybe Mika had 10, best case scenario, but he sees the bad news. Oof. Mika way ahead, four to one favorite. I guess that he's a little bit, I think somebody folded a jack, which means. Which makes his odds than less. Four, more than a four to one favorite. Uh, Mika does have that ace of diamonds as well. So. Ten or a seven for a few yes. more outs for the jack. Oh my God. Oh my God, he fills up. Cooler alert. Only oh, an so ace, sick. only an ace. Now Mika with the two outers. Wow, the oh jack on the God. turn. And Mika's out. I know you, I mean, that's oh, my know. gosh. Wow, how good does this guy oh run? Oh, my gosh. Oh, smack dab. <laughs> oh, smack dab. <laughs> I know, Lindsay. Wow, what a sick we are, we are the same as you. Oh, my so God. Mika, let me tell you something. Mika, you are amazing, girlfriend. So unfortunate for Mika to just, just I mean, you, there's nothing you do. You're all in pre. Uh there's nothing. And he hits a two outer. Kevin is, he already had a big stack. He's running like. Look at, look what he has now. 42% of the I chips, my dear. what it feels like to run like God. Yeah, oh, my God, Drew. He's got 531,000 now in chips. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's about 1.2 mil in play. He's got almost half the chips. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah he's got a lot of oh chips. Oh, my God, you can't. Yes. I know. <laughs> what a yeah, cooler. I, 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 it, it, Mika, you are awesome. You are beautiful. You play superbly. It's yeah, just you know, I know Mika knows that there's nothing to do in this no. spot. Just no. No. OMG. But I know she's got some money in her pocket. She took some players down and some <laughs> cash in her pocket. That's she always good. Bounties. We know that for a fact. So now we should be seven-handed and on the money bubble. We are. And sometimes these guys decide to throw in uh, some bounties for the bubble. Let's see what happens, though. Oof. Anthony with ace jack. Kevin with ace 10, dear. Anthony takes that raise to 12K. Yeah. Shaka -laka. You know, Kevin going to re-raise. Really he's got his foot on the gas right now. He's 
just keeping the pedal to the metal like you said, and it's good he's got position there too, Drew. Yeah, I, if I was Anthony, I wouldn't feel good about it. I mean, like, I, like this guy's running good right now. I tell you, I fold. And you're out of position uh, for the yes. rest of the hand. I'm with you, Drew. I, I mean, fold. I'm like, this guy's too hot. I got to get out. I feel like, what's this ship say? It's for Anthony. I think it's all in her fold at this point. Totally, totally true. And, and do you want to bust bubble? I yeah. just fold. I'm with you, Anthony. That's what I said. You I don't fold. Don't want to bust bubble. Exactly. I, That's, I don't want to. That had to be it. what was going through his head. And exactly. Think, you I don't want to go out seventh. You just don't. Rather keep my chips and fold the cards and play another hand. Oh yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit tilting one direction. You're so right, my dear. It's all tilting huh. toward Kevin. Brett making the observation that all the chips are tilting that side of the table over there. Anthony now waking up with the Jays. Let's there see how go. they work. That's better than Jack's. Uh, better than Ace Jack, I should say. Without a doubt. Another race. There's a, a race. 17 K. 17 K. The bigger sizing, the bigger hand. Oh boy, Kevin with an Ace. Ace eight. <laughs> <laughs> and a chip stack. Uh, he's not folding. He's calling. Of course not. His goal is to keep knocking everybody I like it. out. He's playing the rush. He's playing Ooh. the bounties. He's got the chip stack to well, do it, Drew. He's got it. Mark folded Ace five under the gun. Brett's got Ace. Juice. Aces are pretty, <laughs> pretty. Whisper to the dealer. I wonder what he said. I wonder what the remark was. Smack so dab. Good flop for the Jays. Bad flop for Kevin. He actually hit a pair. Exactly. <laughs> he might think it's good. I know. And uh, we already know that two aces were folded, so that would give. Out. Yeah, he's got three outs. Kevin's got three outs. Yes, Kevin exactly, my dear. Exactly. He's going to continue with three outs. Brink. Not it. It's not helping. All in. Oh, wow. Anthony rightfully goes all in. Absolutely. I mean. He's got a, it's an ideal yeah, I'll do a board for the Jays, and he says he's not going to mess it up. Less than half size pot bets. Correct. And, yeah, Anthony, sorry, Anthony's going to get a call and be at risk. But he's in really good shape. I mean, really it's like we shape. said before, it's a tremendous board for the Jays. Three outs. Three outs for, for Kevin, Kevin is right, Drew. Not at risk there. Anthony finds a double. Nice going, Anthony. <coughs> Nicely done. Same hand. <laughs> Betty just tells us she flopped the straight. Never fold 5-7. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Betty, I love you, dear. <laughs> Lindsay Wright, the danger noodles. Yeah, Jacks have been wild so far. Oh. And now you see on our screen the V-pip numbers. Fold your aces pre. Oh, no, fold your aces pre. As she said, I didn't want to say it in the middle of the other hand, but I'm like, Yeah, Kevin's oh. in the other hand. Look at this, 55% V-pip. Oh, uh, without a doubt. Anthony's Look at some hands. Yeah. Hey, you know what? The numbers here, we just started. We're still in our first few hands here, basically. Um, these are great numbers for everybody. Everybody's pretty active. Yes. That's great numbers for everybody, Drew. So true. So true, Drew. But anyway, getting back to some of our other events, like I said, on, on April 12th, we have that $10 poker party. That's always a lot of fun. And on April 21st, the great charity tournament, which does benefit autism and, and those type of programs. And you can get all this info on our website, pbkennelclub.com. Uh -huh. 9, she says, I'm at 9. Oh, she said 85. You can't be 85. Can't I was going to say, how'd you change them? Oh, because there's no fives. That's correct. We can round up 85 to 9. That's fine. We just complete the raise, and it's perfection. So Brett here, going to see a flop with Ace-3 suited. I like it, but he's in bad shape against the Ace-9. <coughs> Mark here has kind of a, he's got a, 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 a multi-way type of hand. You know I what? think maybe he smells weakness because he has got three betting chips. That's an interesting play. I like it. I, I also, I like it. 
I like it. I also it. like it. He's taking the aggressive route. Totally with you, Drew. What is that, 40, 45-ish? I can't see from here. Yeah, I, I can't didn't tell. hear. 40, 45-ish. It's in that 45 ball. 45. Yeah. You hit the nail right on the head. It gets Betty to fold. It's a nice squeeze play because it got Betty to fold. Now, Brett has a decision here. He's going to have to play the rest of the hand out of position against a guy who covers you. Correct. Against an opponent who's already showed strength. This is not a spot that I would be comfortable with. I am in total agreement with you, my dear. Why? That never happens. Are you agreeing with me? I never. always agree with yeah, you, I know my you dear. Do. I know you do. <laughs> I mean, even when we have a difference in no, approach, no, no. we still are agreeing on we the greatness of this. We never disagree. No. Yeah, Brett is uncomfortable, like he should be. Yeah, he's got to be, you know, trying to figure this particular action out. He might. It look kind of like that. Nah, I was going to say, it looks like he wants to see a flop, but yeah, like I said, he, he doesn't want to play this hand out of position. Three Bad. more streets. Correct, my dear. With a weak ace. Mark, you know, like you said, being the aggressor here, Mark. That's a six squeeze play. I like that. It was awesome. I loved it. And I happen to like the 34. It's the Walter Payton hand. The 34 of spades. Suited. Suited. And getting real quickly back to you, don't forget, guys, on March 31st, Easter Buffet at the Paddock. That is our high-end, wonderful restaurant that's just a building adjacent to us with an award-winning chef, great cuisine. Go online, pbkennelclub.com, get your reservations, or you can call 561-683-2222 and ask for the Paddock. Hand 11, Drew, blinds are 244. Betty got that ace tray of clubs. She's there. Halpert. Ooh. Snap shoving. King love queen it. of love. All in. I wonder if he's feeling bored, aggressive, or if he just really likes that hand. We saw him limp yeah. with the king queen off, and then he snap shove and he shows it happily. Exactly, my dear. Shows it happily. Yes, Betty, you were ahead. You were definitely ahead. Thank you guys so much for joining us in the chat. We cannot thank you enough. It is always a pleasure to have you. Once again, follow, like, subscribe, you know, Twitch, YouTube, and anybody who's an Amazon Prime member, you get this subscription for free. Gratis is the greatest. Nothing not to like about free. And for any of you guys want to know, you know what? It's that time of year. We'll get to it later. Betty waking up with a kennel club hand. Says, don't Not like it. feeling frisky. Not <laughs> feeling it. Easy fold for Brett, though. Here's Mark. I like this. He's five suited on the button. Like it. Raised to 9K. We have three players looking at a flop. I like these hands, Drew. This could be a little action Ooh, here. It's a whole lot of clubs out there. Heck yeah. Could be, could be spicy. We can't see the flop right now. Not yet. There it is, though. It's not spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody misses. Right now, nobody really hit anything. Mark, if he continues, he might take it down. He's got position, and he does have that ace. I think it went check, check, and then Mark did continue. Which is what we just said. Just bet another nine and take it down. Smack dab. Yes, that's the way to do it. Got position. You just make that continuation bet. Take that First baby down. Stab wins. Like it, Drew. Like it a lot. And for all you guys that are out there, you know, this is that derby time of year. Don't forget, on March 30th, the Florida Derby, the Arkansas Derby, we've got all the screens, all the availability to bet. The simulcast races are here. It's that derby time of year. And also on the 30th, for anybody, please. We've got the Rooney's 5K Run Walk. Yes, it benefits awesome charities. You know, the Sheriff's Department and uh, several other charities, Potentia Academy. And you guys, you can get in on this. Just go to our website, pbkennelclub.com. You hear Eric telling him option, meaning option. 19. Like that raise. Kevin says. Kevin is just playing his stack in his position. He's just punishing a limp. It doesn't matter what his cards are, especially since they're five high. Without a doubt, Drew. I mean, when Anthony limps, he's not really. I mean, it could be anything. Most likely it's on the weaker range because we know. I'm sure they've been playing for a while. Anthony would probably raise if he had a hand. 
Therefore, this is a very well timed race for Kevin. It's a pretty easy spot to pick down some chips. Absolutely correct. That's the way to go. And once again, we got players all the time. Give me this hand. Give me that. It doesn't matter. It's your position and your chip stack and knowing well, with whom you're up against. I love to find excuses to put money in the pot. You know what? I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the way to go. Play your position. You know, you know the chip stacks that you're up against. And Kevin is in the driver's seat. I mean, he's holding almost 50% of yeah, the chips right now. you got to have at least 40% of the chips. Mo I think more than that. Between 40 and 50% of the chips, I believe. Ooh, we got the QJ of spades. Peter here. has been very patient, and it's l and it's folded to him. It's a good time for a raise with Queen Jack suited. Absolutely. Kevin's gonna play along, of course. Kevin's V pip is up there. And Betty says, "I got a big blind." And Betty's I'm getting good play. odds to see a flop. She got a suited queen and a pair. Betty flops a pair. Smack. Kevin with top top, actually. He's got the bigger pair. Correct, my dear. And he's not going to check. He's going to go ahead and lead right into the preflop better. As he should. He's got the chip stack to do it, Drew. Nope. Three, five, one, two, go ahead. Turning, turning. I heard you. Okay. I didn't know you were taking the I missed it. What happened? Not sure. It could be the cards on the bottom. Oh no! Something. I think it, it when Tony took. Maybe they had to still owe him a bounty. That might be it. Mm. I think they still owe him a bounty. Because Betty said she mentioned it. Yeah. So that must have been it. My dear, mine's still 244. Four. Brett under the gun, Ooh. big slick. Premium, <coughs> premium. Uh, 12K. I think you're right. Little mid clip. Maybe nine. Wait, nine, yeah, nine everybody's K, been choosing yeah. that nine number. It's been the magic number. It's popular. Just, like I said, just a tad more than a mid. <coughs> Uh-oh, don't do it, Betty. Okay, she's just going to flat. Uh, it's I thought she might go all in with her chip stack. Good thing she did not. I'm happy for her too, my dear. Check, check right there, my dear. Betty picks up a gutty. Probably check, check, and yeah. Yes, my dear. I feel like, well, <coughs> I feel like Brett could have stabbed at any point in the hand. He's just going to check the river. Yeah. I also feel like he could have went for value, but I totally maybe he was just being nice. I think maybe that might have been the case. Didn't raise it for seven. <laughs> We're still seven-handed. This is the money bubble. It is indeed, Drew. And the bounties are still alive. Without still a doubt. Ooh. Head hunting bounties. Mark, Mark, under the gun. Suited. Nice. Nice. Like it. Peter with a pair right behind him. What's he going to do? He's been very conservative. He's I wonder if he's thinking all in her fold. I, he's, I could see a flat being okay here. Yeah, he's going to flat. Yeah. Could look at a flop there with those pocket eights. I'm gonna go with Kevin probably. I could see Kevin raising here. He's probably gonna call. Kevin, yeah, he's kind of cooled off a little bit. He's quiet down. He's not three betting. He says, "I want to hold on to but these chips." He but also wants to see some flops. Yeah. Oh. 
I was confused. No, it's all good. Yeah, Brett all rightfully going to lay down the six high. And we'll go three ways to this one. Let's see what happens here, my dear. Yeah. King right Kevin in the window. Kevin gets the best of it. Yeah. King right in the window. Kevin wastes no time. Okay, once you have that kind of a chip stack through, as we said before, you just keep the pedal to the metal. You keep running it. It's also an easy game when you flop top hair every other hand. What a heck of a good kicker. Easy game. Sometimes, occasionally. Sometimes. Almost never. Uh, not sometimes. Sometimes not. <laughs> yeah. No. More times not. Not the way I run. I don't really think it has to do with the way anybody runs. This is not easy. It's not an easy game. It's a very, it's a very, uh, very, f f str uh, what's it called? It's a roller coaster of a game, that's for sure. Oh, Peter Ooh. said there's only one over card. I don't believe you, and he's going to see the bad news. He's got two outs. Peter with pocket eights and at risk against oh. Kevin's big stack with top pair. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. boy. Oh, man. This oh might man. be a casualty. He needs to get very lucky here. Got, oh, he no, right now. Nothing changes. He's so got, got two outs. Still has the same outs, but my dear. But ow. We're gonna say we're gonna say goodbye to it's Peter. It's a full house for Kevin. Peter, congratulations, my dear. You played awesome. There we go. And now we're in the money. We Six are. Six-handed. We are. And as I told you before, and right there now, there, Kevin with forty. I said between just forty and fifty for, yeah. percent. He's got just forty-five percent. Chips in play. Yes. And the person, I mean, Mark behind him has 20%. He's got twice the stack of everybody else. He's got actually as much as the next two or three players combined. Without a doubt, too, Kevin just running so well. But also, these guys are all playing great. Look, they're not there for no reason. They're all, all got game, and they're showing it. Definitely a solid lineup. I would have liked to see more fish at the table. Oh God, Betty, you're too good. I like that. Betty cheering on Kevin. Uh, yeah, I mean, the more people he busts, the more she can ladder up. Well, she's rubbing him for her own luck. She's she says. in the money because he's busted so many players. Without a doubt. Yeah. She's in desperate need of a double up, dude. She got like 30 or 40 k. She says she's not just cheering him on. She Kevin. says, I want the rub for some luck First that he's having. Kevin is not slowing down either. Is she up there? Is she up there? What do you want? But that's the point. You know, you're getting the table's getting shorter handed. And you just need to put the pressure on. You need to keep your pedal to the metal, as we say. And that's the way to do it. Kevin just showing, saying, here's my ace. Come at me. I mean, when you look at that chip stack, Drew, What's there not to, what's there to fear? There's nothing to fear. And he is taking the lead, as you, you know, as we've said before. He just knows. Monstrous lead. He's just knowing what to do with it. So we've had this discussion too. You know, you get to where you know the table gets shorter, even heads of play, and the guy with this insurmountable chip stack just takes his foot off the gas and what happens the other guy can catch up sometimes so. yeah sometimes you gotta change gears but definitely there's uh, very much a momentum that happens in tournaments a lot i see it very often oh. absolutely my dear help it waking up with the a thing how we're gonna limp with the sixes yes. he's on the uh passive side i want to say i haven't seen him very very aggressive you're so right my seems dear. like he likes to see flops with hands that he feels are Brett's playable gonna, yeah, Brett's gonna go we're gonna have a couple calls here Anthony, I'm going to guess he checks A3 offsuit on the big blind. I'm going to just guess. I would think you're right. I don't foresee any raise in there. Unless he really thinks he could take down three other players. Here we go. Four players to a flop. It's not me. It's for Tony and seat nine. No, no, no. Tony is this guy. Halpert's the only one with the diamond too right yeah, now. Brett's is the only yeah. one with. And uh, Brett hits the jack. Hit the board. And he's Alfred got a does gutter. Have a yeah. pair, but he's the only diamond. That's important Correct. to note. The diamond gives him a heck of a draw. You are kidding. Right now, Brett's hand getting better. To be fair, nobody likes this flop or this turn. No. 
Brett's got position. He could have taken a stab, but he does win this hand. He might have taken a stab on the turn. He made it. Jackson King. Jackson Halpert, King. There was a, there was a split King. second where Halpert was going to. Oh. It looked like he was going to win. He would, oh. And then he. Oh. He's like, oh, I don't have it. Yeah, I got. I, never mind. Just going to hand my cards over. Never mind. Love that. As you plainly hear, Twan just mentioned the blinds just went up Ooh, to 3,000, 6,000, 6,000. We have Jaden returning to the box. Jaden's so cute. Somebody uh, called him, I forgot, uh, Jay, Jason or Jay. Well, said, you can call me. I said, it reminds me of, you can call me Jay. You can call me Ray. Just mm -hmm. call me, man. <laughs> And 19, once again, blinds are now 366. Yeah, Betty thinking about it for a moment. She does have the blinds coming Ooh. up, and it's going to hurt. That is the big blind now, dear. Yes, it did go to six. Halpert confused, getting the update, and we're back. Didn't see his hand, but. This is Steffi Moe's hand right here. Pocket deuces. Let's see what Brett does. What he does is order a drink. Ah, that's one way to go. <laughs> Let's 16 ish. See. Let's make that raise. 12. All right. I like the mid click, mid -click with, the with the deuces. I like it. Love it. Steffi Mo, this one's for you. Represent oh. my girl. Anthony Kevin gets with out. a very defendable 10 9 suited. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, I think I Kevin like style. He likes to play hands, and he's going to get in there. He's got the chip stack to play just about anybody. That's a great hand 10 9 of diamonds. Oh, smack. He hits the nine right in the window. He's got a pair, but it's the bottom pair. But he's also not scared, bro. He's going to lead right into Brett. Now, Brett cannot like this flop, obviously. If anybody has, if, if, if Kevin hit any piece of it, you would have two outs. That would be bad. Now, this would be a sick raise, but I feel like Brett's going to probably lay it down. And it would be a sick raise. Reluctantly. He's going to reluctantly lay it down. I mean, you could beat a bluff. Telling you right now. Definitely a fold. Yep. Everything is higher than what he's got. And he knows. And the chip stack that Kevin has, no matter what Kevin has, you don't want to go up against Kevin. Man's got momentum. And all the chips that he bought. <laughs> Once again, you're going to see the pre-flop raise numbers here. Kevin definitely in the lead at 26. Shockingly, Kevin has the <laughs> Hello. lead. Hello, but Everybody look at else about the same. But good, good numbers here. Brett, Mark, Betty Anthony and Hopper out. just haven't had hands. That's why they're at the bottom of that. Exactly right. Raise. Exactly. <laughs> Oops, what we got? Miss Deal. Oh, uh, yeah. I think the cards stick together sometimes. They're thicker they're very, cards. They're very thick cards. They're, they're tough yeah. to shuffle. They're tough to flick. Not an easy Not feat for these guys. They're doing a heck of a job. Yeah. Hey, we get that downstairs. You get cards stick together sometimes, too. Uh oh, somebody Does unfamiliar. I wonder if Halbert doesn't know that we're live. Live ish. 15 minutes delay for all those who don't know. It is a 15 minute delay. Ooh, this could be dicey. Albert yeah. says, I'll make my Albert move. Albert has the gun with ace jack off. He's going to shove for about 11 bigs. He has to make a move sooner or later, and this is the time. I believe Brett and Mark already folded, and it's on Anthony on the button. Yeah, what's he got over there? Oh. oh. The but he does have two different suits. Correct. But he well, he's got the better heart, but he does have a dime. He's laid down a shag once before. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Yeah. Let's see what Kevin does. Kevin. He gets out. Betty. Gets out fast. Yeah. Albert showing oh, the hands. Yeah. Anthony is going to say, I have the same hand. No. Yeah. Exactly. He said, I had ace jack. Ace jack, and he had ace jack. 
And I got out. That's all right, Albert. You know, anytime you're pushing chips and adding them to your stack, it's a good thing. Yeah, it's 15K for free. Heck yeah. <laughs> Collecting blinds, as I said, is nothing to sneeze at. It's all good. As I said before, blinds are now 366, six, hand 21. And we are moving along. Yeah, Betty's, Betty's advising him. She's great. She's up. Just put those cards, spread them in the box a little bit. Betty waking up with hockey sticks. Smack dab. Kevin got position. Making a race of 16K with this 54 of diamonds. <laughs> Betty says all in. She's, it's her time. Yeah, Betty's short stack with a pair. Oh. Yeah. Kevin calls. He's going to call just because he was in for. Well, he made half the original the bet. raise. Yeah. yeah. Betty's in pretty good shape so far. He's uh, Kevin's gonna need a favorable flop to have a chance at this bounty. Oh yeah, that's your hand. He's got a four. Seven still. He would in the need lead. another one. Only a four. Otherwise, Betty doubles up. Betty, Betty doubles, doubles up she nicely. Found a double. Yeah. <laughs> nice double up, Betty. Way to go, girl. Betty finds the double. All good. All good. We're keeping the girl around. Keeping girl power around. You go, girl. Well done. She was patient enough. Got a hand. Makes the move. Doubles up. And sometimes best hand going in is the best hand coming out. Sometimes it works that way. <laughs> you guys know. I already mentioned it. Don't forget. April 4th. Oak Ty, you are amazing. Oak in the house. Oak Ty rocking the house. Are you uh, um, collecting some chips somewhere? Can't see Mark's hand, but he's going to raise under the gun. I think we're going to sweat this one with Kevin because he's got a playable hand and does not like to fold those type of hands. Got it, Oak Tight. You know I'm, I'm sending you all the love. Brett, gonna step out the way. Heads up. Right now, Mark's got the mystery hand. And the betting lead. He's gonna check. Check, check. Free card, a pair. Smack dab, Kevin now hits Kevin. the nine. If Mark has, oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I think comes, Mark has yeah. just given up yeah. on this hand is kind of what it looks like. I think you're right. Or maybe. he's trapping, but it didn't, I don't, the way he checked it, I just feel like he was giving up. His like demeanor didn't, yeah, yeah, his just, demeanor didn't look like he was trapping, Drew. That's what I'm saying. You're welcome, See, Oktai, go get right, him. I was right. You were right. Of course you were right. I'm right sometimes. Only sometimes. Uh, pretty much most times. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> not bad. OG's not bad either. The old girl OG, not too bad either. <laughs> the old girl. Oh, you did not. I used to call me OG hey, the Jeff, beast. We have a bounty down here. We forgot about it for C4. There we go. Oh, yeah, we were talking C about that about 15 minutes ago. I Tony know. got a bounty and never she got was, it. She was reminding. I mean, Twan should be able to count up the bounties and see that there should be. Yeah. yeah. yeah there should be an extra. Yeah. Yeah. Hand 23, blind still 366. Oak go get him, dear. I'm in your, I'm in your back, I'm in your pocket, dear. I'm behind you 100%. Go get him. Oh, okay, so Betty just Twan didn't see is it. on top of it. Oh, okay. Twan is on top of it. That means he does have the correct amount of bounties left. Mark, do you understand keeping your own $50? Are you open for that? You keep your own $50. We're going to give you $50 for you, and then when you knock someone out, there's no more bounties. We keep our bounties. You still okay? Yeah, is that okay? What do you think? That's fine by me. You're the one that's 
There it is. The conversation's going towards let's just get rid of the bounties now, take that, them back. And yeah, this is what we were talking about earlier for anybody who yep. just joined us. Well, at least they waited a bit. A lot of times you'll hear these guys, they play with each other so often they'll... Well, it's very common that when they get to the, the bubble. table, they just, they just yeah. yeah, they either they pay the bubble and, and or they'll, they'll, they'll pay the right. and right. play for the prize pool. Uh, exactly. I and mean, I've luckily for Kevin, he's gotten quite a few bounties since we started this final table, so yes. he's definitely up. Anthony as well has hit a couple of bounties too on this table. Halpert flopping the world here. Halpert flops a monster and wastes no time putting chips in. Position and a monster, as I said before, he flopped the world. I didn't see Mark check, but I guess he checked. Yeah, Mark did check, my dear. Um, <coughs> Mark, yeah, he's going to, he's got a backdoor flush draw. Not much to go with. Nothing really. Oh, my God, he's feeling frisky. Ooh. This would be a well, a uh, bad time. Yep. Ooh. Bad he's going to re-raise. Oh, Halpert and snap shove. Snap. He snaps. And unfortunately, I feel like it's... It's like eight more thousand to call. He might have to call. Yeah, he's gonna see it's terrible gonna news. He's gonna need runner runner to get. He's gonna need a jack of hearts. I know. Got, flip the cards, flip the there cards. we there go. go. There we go. There you go, Jaden. Jaden's getting them. He's getting them. There we go. Wow. Oh, there's a hard. heart. Oh no no, don't say it. Ooh, oh, close. smack dab close. Hopper survives. Hopper. Nines. That was a scary turn card. Oof. I just said he had a backdoor flush draw and a heart comes on a turn. Let's not go there. <laughs> Jaden was just kidding. Halpert said, what are you doing? You killed my cards. He was just kidding, man. He, was he just kidding. didn't kill nothing. He was just they were making sure that you're awake. That's a joke I, I always play. I love you. I love playing that joke. I, want to make sure I was just kidding, bro. Just making sure you're awake. I love just that. Just kidding. Don't worry, Halpert. The tan was already tabled. Yeah, tabled your hand. You protected your own. Absolutely. You Kevin, I told you, 47% of the chips with 608,000. Anthony is the next person in line with 196. Halper, now look where he moved up from from 11 big blinds to 181,000. Marks at 124, Brett 123, and Betty. Everybody's got 20 bigs or more. Betty's, uh, Betty's short sack, but she's got she's still 60, got it. 70. Yeah, she got it. She's going to need another double up, but. Yeah, she's got about 10 big blinds. She's still there. Hopper's like, yeah, sure, I voted. Yes, Whatever. I, guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm voting for. You just got at. money. What's the big deal? Yeah, you got your money. He says, I have no idea what I'm <laughs> voting for. <laughs> and Betty, the cheerleader of all time, I love her. Betty, table captain. The shit show. The tournament is $20. That is another tournament tonight? Yeah. There is a nighttime tournament, absolutely. It's going to start in about 15 minutes. And you guys got plenty of time to get into that if you guys want to play. Mark going to go all in from the small blind against a, in a limp pot. Is that what happened? Yeah, I think it's so. exactly what happened, my dear. And you know that Kojak hand that's been running hot. Quick fold by Anthony doesn't like the eight deuce. Halpert doesn't like his seventy. Doesn't like his seventy six of spades. So Mark's going to collect those blinds. That's all right. Once again, we said three six six out of blinds. 15K, nothing to sneeze at. There are your payouts, guys. If you wow, need to see them, I put them already in. Yeah, 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 yeah. First place, 3,061. So second, 1893. Third, 1244. Fourth, 857. Fifth, 628. And sixth, 481. These people are all in the money. And if you need to see those again, just type on your screen in the chat, exclamation payouts, and they'll show right up on your screen for you. Drew, this has been amazing. This play has been great. These players are amazing. It and I'll tell you something. It has been exciting. I don't know. Couldn't yeah. think of a better thing to do on a Saturday than be here. I could use a nap, but that's a different <laughs> story. <laughs> All right. I'm running on two hours of sleep, so, you know, <laughs> I don't Not know. Not the same. I Not know. the same. Halpert with his usual limp with a hand that I feel like could be raisable, but he likes to see flops cheaply. But that does tend to make people... 
punish the winner. Yes, exactly. I was going to say. It's happened quite a few times, and here it's going to happen again. Yeah. It leaves the so. door wide open for somebody oh, no. else. Never mind. Brett's Ooh, just Brett's going to flat. flat. King Queen off. That's a flatable. Anthony in the I small feel like block. Kevin might be the one to take advantage of all the limping. Kevin, I like the hand too. K9 of love. K9 at the Kennel Club. He's going to just check. Ooh. All right. It's suited. Ooh. It's floppable. Let's see if we get some love on this flop. I see. Ooh. Wow. What a flop. All Gives right. everybody a piece of something. Two Everybody's pair for Brett. This is Halpern with the gutter. One pair for three people. Absolutely. And, oh, sorry. One pair. Yeah, one pair for three people. And one. Two, top two for Brett. Right. He got a snap shove. Hundred K, not a small bit. No. Hundred more, I should say. Kevin let out, and Halpert quickly folded his, which smart to do. What? Oh, Halpert had ace ten. Yes, he had ace ten. Yeah. Bottom pair, pair, great kicker, but he's not loving it. But he hasn't folded either. No. It's definitely a worthy hand to go in a tank with. I think it's just too much to call. It is a huge sum. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's that's the type of that's the type of hold of the cards when you're about to fold. Yeah, you get that whole feeling right there. He's not the, liking it. The, the, three or four people from my original table the uh, body yes. language showed that was going to be a fold. As soon as he held the card, he was going to fold. Four. Exactly, four. Drew. He was in original. So again, you're going to see our chip count. Yeah, Kevin so with the dominating chip lead. He's got as much as chips as pretty much everybody else. Everybody else. Yeah, that was three, three fifty, four fifty. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's sure. got about as much chips yes. as everybody else. Sure. He's close to fifty percent. I'm doing the math, but the number's right there in front of us. Forty-seven percent. Exactly, my dear. I said he's got almost fifty percent. I'm you're overthinking it. It's all right, my dear. I got you. Mm -hmm. I got you, my love. <laughs> Once again, I'm going to give a shout out to our production crew. That's Tuan and Sue and Jason just making us all look good here. Can't see the hand, but I do see the action. Folded to Tony. He's going to raise on the butt and take it down. He says, I take it down. I have position I can make this work. And yes, he did. Yes, he did, Drew. Yes, he did. He did. He sure did. Oh, I know. Did. I know. I know that Kevin was uh, definitely working this, uh, mastering this wonderful bounty tournament that we are now live streaming the last final players of this. And there is a tournament later on starting um what'd you say? The next starting the next few minutes. minutes, yeah. Next ten minutes. And twenty seven guys blind three six six. Anthony waking up with American Airlines, my dear. Anthony's been waiting all day for this hand. Smack that He makes a raise of 24K. Easy takedown, quick folds by everybody else. Nicely done, Anthony. Nicely done. Once again, lines at 366, 15K right there. Nothing to sneeze at taking those. Anthony's sticking real nice in the. He's, in, he's second place with 208,000 in chips. Not a bad place to be at all. For all you guys, you know what? Come on, don't, as my girl Steffi Mo would say, don't be shy. Just say hi. Follow. Speaking of Steffi Mo in the house, I told you our production crew rocks the most. Steffi Mo, Jason, Sue, and Tuan making us all look good. And that tall Josh, none of this would be without you. We love you, Josh. Said. Drew, Drew's in chill zone right here. He's looking good. I'm going to take a nap. Jaden. Jaden in the box? Yeah. 
He's been here a couple weeks. Yes, indeed. Ooh, wee! Says smack dab. <laughs> Says, oh, said, where'd you get the where'd you get that from? Where Especially since I thought he had six five off suit. He had queen five off suit. Yeah, where did he get that queen from? Smack dab. He pulled the old switcheroo. I don't know. All right, Brett, roll up those sleeves, buddy. It's just a little misread. Just a little yeah, misread. All, the time. all just little technical glitches and it all gets worked out. Right now you see the cumulative winnings of Kevin. Yeah, Anthony. Kevin with a huge come up since coming to this final table. Heck yeah. A lot of chips. Heck yeah. He's up about a quarter of the chips in play since we started this without final a, table. Yeah, without a doubt, Drew. Anthony under the gun. He's going to toss the ace tray. These guys are so great. And just to watch them, each one has their own kind of systematic play. It's tremendous. This stream is magnificent. It's not just a learn. I mean, it's an amazing educational tool. I love when I can look at a player and see the wheels turning. You can see their thought process. Sometimes, occasionally, you can see what they're thinking. Brett thinking that this is a bad hand. <laughs> 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 For anybody at home looking well, at it, it's going, yee. He might be wanting to take advantage of the fact that Mark's a little bit on the short side. Now he's going to try and see it. Yep. He Mark says is not all gonna in. allow that to happen. That's a quick Mark is going to yes, gonna take, take advantage down. of the limp pot. Yes. He says, I got KJ. I'm just telling you. So now once again you do see the chip stacks there. <coughs> Betty. In need Betty of a double up. Needs, Mark needs clawing up. back from that big hit he took. Hey nice. All right, Mark, you're still there. We're still there. Ooh, Kevin waking up with the king jack of spades. And fumbling chips. Under the gun. Or as Bryce told us, it's gun six. I was expecting that. 21. No shock. 21k. No we surprise were, here. We were expecting that mark. With a raise. Mark, mark though. Four. If he wants to take a flip, probably not. I don't think he wants to take a flip. Yep. He says no can do. Anthony quick fold. Anthony very systematic in his play. These guys are great. Well done, Jaden. Yeah, sometimes you gotta mix them up. Those cards can get tough to deal. Just take a little bit. And for anybody that's not accustomed to dealing on the stream, the cards are different. They're very thick. Very, They're very thick cards. It's like thick pieces of cardboard, man. It's tough. Yeah. Hand 31. Betty guys. with a shovable hand. Yep, yes. there she goes. There it goes. Betty all in with the king, queen, club. Also, under the gun, I'd rather take that hand than set of two random hands in the blinds. Without a doubt. Where she would be losing a third of her stack. This is a better option, obviously. Anthony grabbing his chips, but uh, I think he's just moving them. <laughs> Betty says, no bounties associated anymore. Does that disappoint <laughs> you? She's discouraging the calls. She I love it. I just well, want that. Nobody had a hand. King, so. Beautiful. Beautiful hand. He didn't have a blind. But that's okay, Betty. You just picked up 15K. She's still got 10 bigs. Yes. Still in need of a double. I know, but hey, you can't she's get there to, without, she's you know. Yeah, it's it's step, by step, step by step, though. Step by step. You're right. You got to get a call to get a double. I mean, somebody else said that earlier, and I said, I guess I do want to call. <laughs> she is just a doll. Always a, a, ple always a pleasure. Albert, got to put those cards in the box for just a second for us to get a read. I played with a guy last night and he said he hates that game. He said it never 000. serves him well. I do believe Halpert under the gun just raised a 15K with the mystery hand. So you know he's got something really good because he's pretty conservative. I don't think I've seen Halpert raise not one time this whole tournament. He's limped with King Queen, pocket sixes, King Queen again, Ace Jack. Oh, he did raise with an Ace Jack. Never he mind. Well, he raised with the Ace Jack. It's all in. Oh, we're gonna see. The, we're gonna see the hand. He's got Queens. Oh, Ooh, Queen Jack. I got girls. I told you. Queen Jack. Was it Jack? It queen Jack. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Maybe it was Queens and I missed it, but 
I don't know. I couldn't see it from here, so I'm. I saw two paint cards. It was either queen jack or queens, but it's kind of a big difference. I would yeah. like to think he, if for him to raise it be queens because of the way we've seen him play. That's what I was. Um, you know, just uh, we're guess, surviving. Guess and move on to the next one. Everybody <laughs> hanging around. Smack dab. Hanging around. Nobody's budging. Kevin. He now has the mystery hand with position. Let's see. Ooh, nope. we don't like it. Not gonna do it. He said, Betty says, I'll call. Betty, go to flat. <laughs> Try to get in cheek. Oh, spades will be bad for Betty at this juncture. No spades. There's one spade, but. Good for her, no spades. Halbert hits the jack, though. Yep. Snap check, snap bit, snap fold. Snap A fold. A lot of snap. A lot of snapping going on. Smack dab. Once again, Kevin on the top of that V-pip number. Kevin's still on top. He's been on top this whole time. Absolutely. <coughs> Halper's got some hands. He's now second in with the V-pip. That's pretty crazy for me to see. But they're all good numbers. These are numbers that are all good. That everybody's. everybody's playing hands, which is obviously good. Sure. That's exactly what it means. It's good for entertainment value. It's good for all value. Also Heck good for your own yeah. personal value. Yep. You got to attack. Without a doubt. You can't lay just sitting there doing nothing. Kevin, all gas, no brakes. There it is. I like it. I like it a lot. It's the Queen Eight of Love, raise the 16K. No action. That's all right. You know what? Take the rich, rich getting richer is all he cares yeah, about. He don't care. He says, I'm building another castle. Castle number one, castle number two. Kevin waking up with premium. He's 10 of love. That's to be expected right there in that raise. Brett says, no, I don't feel Doyle. Mark getting a quick full two of the jack five and Kevin just collecting more chips. Well done, well done everybody, well done. I do believe it's Donnie up there. He's gonna be running this evening tournament. He just said it, it is a, a rebuy tournament so Oh, the rebuy term. What's that? The twenty dollar buy or yes, the fifth, the, thirty dollar buy and twenty dollar rebuys. I think it's the yeah. That's a fun one. That's called the all in fest. It's called show fest. At least for the first two hours. Until yes. The rebuys are done. Yes, my dear. That's a fun one. And Don't come with one bullet, boys and girls. Don't do it. No. Terrible Brett. idea. Look at Brett. Got the canine hand. Halpert limping jack eight, is that even correct? Yeah, oh, Mark. I'm not sure if that's correct. So Brett is going to, oh, he flatted. He's gonna flat. Mark's just gonna shove. Here so comes, he's here got comes. 10 or 12 bigs, 13 bigs, uh, all in, yep. He all says it's in, all, all of it. All of it. This should be a quick fold by Anthony. Unless he's feeling frisky. Could be feeling it with Posturing. the 54 clubs. Goodbye. Smack that boy. Goodbye. He says no. Back to Brett. Kennel club hand, K9 at the kennel club. Quick fold. Mark takes us down. That's great. Well done, Mark. Hawkinson. He says got him. Like Kevin now with. Almost 50% of the chips, 49%. Pinching up 1% of the time. I know. He had 47 not too long ago. He had 49 That's now. Right. He's about to be at half the chips. I'm telling you. I mean, you. he's got pretty much He's half got, the chips yeah, locked exactly. Up. <laughs> I'm giving a shout out to, to yeah, our tournament back. director, Joey D. Joey D, tournament director par excellence, you know, AKA. Let's not forget about Kevin Sahaguni who's running this tournament God. from the morning. 
Kevin was guest. I already mentioned Kevin ran this tournament. Oh, okay, well, let me mention him again. That's my dog. I like it. You know, we'll keep mentioning it. <laughs> I will always mention these guys. Albert Reyes, I don't know if he meant to. Yeah. Ooh. Little raise to 16K with his 87. I wonder if I Brett like. is going to pick up on the fact that he didn't mean to raise. Now he's just going to flat. <gasps> Excuse me. Mark gets out. Anthony gets out. I think I out. might have attacked the potentially not. Uh, Kevin gets out. Kevin with 9-4. That's the bottom of his range for sure. Yowza. Heads up. Let's go. Smack dab. Heck of a flop for Halpers. Heck of a flop with the hearts. <laughs> like I accidentally raised and now I now I'm gonna gonna purposefully bet. I'm going to continue here. That's interesting. Brett sees, like, yeah. Oh, man. Every, everything is over, Ooh, but. He's not going to fold for one bet. That's interesting. I like it. I like it. He says, you are still in the lead with this hand, but it's a hell of a flop for Halpert. He's peeling here, Ooh. but. Ooh. Does Halpert slow down, or does he? Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a good Let's bet, see but he you literally have eight high. He's going to check now. He does cool down. He gets there it is. He gets there. There it is. I mean, he's not going to get any action. No. Wait, did he just, we just went check, check? Yes, it went check, check. What? Look at that. <laughs> Brett going, I had it. Oh, I had it. You had it, Brett, but nobody. To be fair, yeah, it's hard to win it. with sixes yeah, yeah, on a nice 9-9. Nine, nine. Nine. And yeah. you said it, Drew, when you said Halbert made the raise, accidental raise, and Brett didn't seem to pick up on that because I think he could have gotten. I'm, uh, I don't know if Halbert has ever in his life raised with 8-7. That's what I'm saying. time it was an accident. I know. <laughs> But then when he let out, that was intentional, and he's got it. As you plainly see, Kevin still with 592,000 Halpert. Halpert moved himself up to 233K. Not bad. Not bad at all. We got Brett waking up. Ace seven. Mark King eight. Smack Deba. Anthony getting rid of my 96. Kevin K9 at the Kennel Club worked before. See if he makes it work again. He's up against Betty. It's gonna gonna flat. That's it. Betty's Betty says shove. all in. Oh, Kevin's gonna snap. It's We're Jack Nine versus K9. 70-30. Betty's gonna see the bad news. She got three outs as of right now. Yes. Bad news. She's gonna need some help. She's gonna need a 10-8 flop. Or a jack ball, corner pocket. Jack in the corner pocket is what I is say. Is it? Is it? Not no. a good flop. Four. Chops? Yeah, four for <laughs> chop or two. a chop? That's not it. Not She's a jack and a jack only, or Betty's going to say goodbye. See you in the next one, Betty. It's Betty. Betty, let me tell you something, my girl. You are going home six today, taking $481 plus the bounties in your pocket. Betty, you played awesome as always. Always a charm, always a doll, always our cheerleader. Hey, guys, and don't forget, as I mentioned once before, April 4th through the 7th, our monster multi-flight is back. $300 buy-in. 100000 plus guaranteed. You know, last time we crushed it over 250000 was the prize pool. And guess what? If 300 is too much, $65 satellites will get you in. And you can do what Perry did, come in third, taking about fifteen k with a $65 satellite. Heck, yeah. It's the way to go. Hand 39, my dear. Blinds 488. Brett says, I'm there with my ace nine. He says, under the gun. Raised, Raised by Anthony with the snowman. <laughs> Nicely done, Anthony. That's the way to play it. Well, I saw a couple of hands, mediocre hands, that might have been callable. They just decided not to play. They weren't feeling it. one joke. of those don't yeah. want to play out of position type of hands. Just not feeling it. Ace three, ace eight. What are we? Five handed? I can't see Mark's chips today. Mark is still in right here. Yeah, yes, handed. we are five handed here. Yeah, Betty took home sixth. Right. Blinds at four, eight, eight. Fifty four of clubs. Mark says I don't like it. Should be a quick fold by Anthony with the seventy three. 
73, a good year, but a bad Smack hand. Dab, not a good hand. Kevin says this is worth it. Nah, it's not worth that. Limpot. Yes, indeed. Battle of the blinds Limpot. here, Drew. Big money in an OME. Battle versus a blind. I remember the last time we went blind versus blind. Heads up to the flop. Smack dab. Let's see. Is that top pair for somebody? Top pair for Halper. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Top two. Ooh. He got but can't get any action. King high from Brett. I think it's jack six tray. Yeah, right? two, yeah top two, two for Halper. Two, two. Yeah, I couldn't see. I couldn't six. see the six, my dear. He only shows the so jack. So it was top two. I wonder if he had jack six. Hands gone. Turn the page. Moving on. You guys, thank you so much for joining us. You guys follow, like, subscribe, you know, Twitch, YouTube, and for Amazon Prime members, you know this subscription is for free. Ooh, Anthony King, Five of Clubs, Kevin. He's got the Walter Payton 34 hand. <laughs> Eric wants to say raise, but that's eight. That's a call, my friend. It's a oh, call. Oh, it's eight because I forgot it's a new blind. Blinds oh, okay, that's why he was confused. He said it. I think he just growled for a moment. He wanted to say raise and then realized that the blinds were up You want to say eight. raise and call at the same he time. He was just kidding. Just kidding, just kidding, guys. Oh, he said raw. He said raw. Okay, raw. I like, I, I, like the, I like the raw. Good old raw. Smack dab, Jack in the window. Mark checks top two. Did yeah. Halper just bet with right. nine high? Got or, position. Or am I, am taking I, a stab. Am I drunk or did Halper just bet with nine high? He just bet. It could be both. Of course. All in by Mark, uh, of course. I wonder if Halper's hand is... <laughs> yeah, it's rolling. Good oh, job, no. Tony. I'll roll it back. Kill that. Oh, uh, what a roll. 81,000. That's a professional roll. Now, Halpert's considering, or is he posturing? I wonder if he actually has a hand that's not 9-8. I have a feeling maybe. Maybe there was a little maybe miscue. He has been stepping up his game and bluffing here and there. Yes, sir. 82,000. Nope. Maybe he did bluff. Says, I thought I'd take a shot. But Got my hand caught in the cookie jar. Smack dab. No cookies, Halpert. No nope. cookies for you, buddy. Okay. But it's okay, you know. You still got, you're still there. Alfred's still in second with two hundred thousand. Brett in the danger zone now. With seven bigs. Yes, indeed, dear. Cards, chips, or stones. What were we talking about? Big blind, sir. Please take it back. Not you. You are big blind. Smack dab. Eric saying, <laughs> "Not you, Eric sir." Said, you take it back. He's talking to Kevin, saying, "Take back the big blind," and then Tony snatches he takes it back. back. He says, "Not, <laughs> Not you, you, sir." Sir, hold on there. You are the big blind. You got to leave that Not seven you, now. Sir. <laughs> funny guy, Eric, and Tony. Actually, Tony's a funny guy. Tony, I know Tony for oh my god. Yeah, he's he's a good spirits type of guy. Umpteen years I've been dealing with Tony. He's always been a great guy. I like it a lot. Looks like it could be Santa Claus's cousin. <laughs> yeah, with that yes. beard. <laughs> Smack dab. Kevin says, I Santa take Claus's a stab lunch. under the gun with the 63 of hearts, and I won't take it down. Oh, suited hand? Definitely in Kevin's range. Without a doubt. For a while, hey, so we he got a five-player table. You yeah, got to open yeah. up that range. He's, and he's switching gears here. I like to see it. You know, Drew. We're five players on this table now. Love to see it. He's at 53% of the chip stack now. I like Kevin's style, man. He's all gas, no brakes. I like it a lot. But he's not, like, maniacal. He's not overly aggressive. He's well-timed aggressive. I like it. I like, this, I like this man's style. You know what? He plays superbly, Drew. Also, he he's got a uh, bracelet that looks just like mine. Ah, there we go. Great minds thinking alike He's very type stylish. of thing. Yes. He's very stylish. Mark, ace five off on the button. Flatting chips. Says, I'll see a flop. Chooses not to min click or raise. Anything. I guess you want to keep the pot small. Yes, yes. With a mediocre ace. That's okay. We're going to see a cheap one three ways. Let's go, let's go. 
60% of the players at the table are in this one. Smack dab. Open-ended for Kevin. Yes. Second pair for Anthony. Yeah, open-ended for Kevin. That's all he needs right there. I make my move. Kevin is not scared to bet his draws. We've seen this before. And with, with that chips tech, Drew, why would you be afraid yeah, to bet? Absolutely no not. Fear. You should be. He's doing exactly what he should no be doing. Fear. You got five players at this table. Easy game. Absolutely. Just keep pushing the pedal All to the gas, metal. No breaks. Love it. Keep updated payouts. Next, Next person out, 628 all the way up top, a little over 3,000. Absolutely. It's and a big difference. Absolutely. This makes it's hefty, hefty here. Big difference. So the choppy, three, four, five, six, 7,000. Yeah, I mean, everybody would only be getting like 1,250. It's almost not worth it. Well, if you have Kevin's stack, is yeah. not worth the chop at this juncture. With Kevin's massive lead. He's got half the chips, man. Yeah. Go for gusto. He's got more than half. Yeah, he's up over 50% yeah, at this exactly, point. Exactly, dear, exactly. Everybody else is just trying to get a hand. Everybody's just trying to hang. Anthony Smack Devin Jordan! Ace on the button, he's going to limp it. Jordan in the house. Thank you for joining smack us, dabbing. Jordan. I love <laughs> you. Smack dabbing. We need a, a smack dab emote. Smack. I, somebody got it, yeah. Great. Kevin, all gas, no brakes. I like it. Attacking the button limp. And it's not a fun spot for Anthony. Yeah, Anthony he, says, I'm gone. I'm we've gone. We've seen him limp fold a few other times before. I think Kevin picked up on that. No, Kevin Eric. is very astute. He's watching how they're didn't playing. He knows. He didn't move the button. Yeah, there you go. There it is. It's the roll. Good job, Tony. Button roll. Roller. I love it, but I like that idea. There ought to be a little caricature emote with the smack dabbing. A little caricature of the OG on there. OG, old girl, smack dabbing. I would dabbing. love to see it. I like it. I would love to see it. I like it a lot. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Ooh, go for the song. <laughs> Hand 45, guys. Blind still 488. And we have a ma amazing final table. with What great play today. It's been fun. And sure. I'm in this booth with this good-looking guy, Drew, we've next to me. I mean, How I'm all right. much better does Saturday We've had some get. monsters. We've had some coolers. We've, we've This tournament's got it all. We've had it. No better way to spend a Saturday than I know of. You guys, come on, follow, like, subscribe, Twitch, YouTube, you got it. Smack dab! It's like we're at the table right now. It's like we're at the table playing. You know Kevin ain't afraid. Brett's going to, there we go. Kevin did spike the jack right away in the window. He's got position. He knows how to play this thing. Like this, like the size of this bet. Keeping Brett in for the ride. Brett's got nine outs. See if Brett hits. Nope. Kevin still in the lead, stays in the lead. He going to check it, figuring whatever bet he makes, Brett's most likely going to fold. And he's going to take this spot, and the rich get richer. And that's how it goes, folks. Yes, come on. You know, this stream, like we said before, is not just entertainment. It is an unbelievable educational tool. I mean, you could just learn so much by watching this. Kevin now holding 760,000, 61% of the chip Four. stack right now, followed by Halpert with 180, followed by Anthony at 161. Brett's got less than one big. Is that right? Uh, Brett's he does. all in from the small blind. That's terrible Absolutely. news when you have a five two. Absolutely, uh, my dear. Oh, boy. That's tough. Kind of got chiseled down to that. Yeah, he just, he's been cold decked. Race, 16. Rays could isolate. Is Brett, is Brett not all in? No, he folded. Wait, what just happened? Oh, he's got oh. a couple. Oh, okay. he's still got so it. All he's right. not all in. No, uh, there was a miscue there, yeah. a little. He's got, but he's not, it's not good. He's got 15 or 16K left. I think that's all there. So we're just, the numbers are off just a little bit. It's just catching up. It's just a little, oop, lights out back here. Yeah, we don't need lights. Heck no. Good. Less. We need less. Uh, less lights. Less. Less heat. Less heat. 
No, we got Brett still in this game. Yeah, it's just a little glitch, a little technical glitch. We work through all that. And 47. Mine still 488. Eric doing a heck of a great job there. Keeping these guys straight. Once again, Kevin Albert running this. has uh, really opened ooh. up his range from when we started. Aha, uh -huh, 85 of spades. Brett, jack six off, not liking it when he's got like 16K. He's got like two bigs in him. Three ways. Yes, Anthony cards. holding the big better spades. Yeah, so. spades would be bad for Mr. Halpert over there. He's Absolutely. got eight high against Anthony's jack high and no spades. Oof, they both eights. hit an eight, Mark and Halpert. Halpert with the better one. Anthony though. with two over cards could get yeah. a free card. I think Halpert, if you have 8 5, it's time to bet. It is. You're not going to get a much better flop than that one. And it's check to you. I like to see Halpert opening his range as, as I was talking about how I feel like he was on the conservative side. He has definitely proved me wrong. He is. Is that or you switching gears very nicely? He says, I'm going to try to make this. Switching gears very nicely. Now, Mark with top pair. 100,000. Yeah. 50 is up. No, you can't count the. Can't no, we count can't it count them. You just can yeah. see them. That's all. If Halper, Halper tells Halper chose him. to give him the info, yeah. but no, he's not required. Not everybody at the table. <laughs> here, here, just make you happy. Here, five, ten, twenty. Very aggressive. Hundred thousand. Very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Halpert saying here. Halpert saying, you want to see my chips here? They are. I'll tell you what I got. Yeah, but Mark is asking, I mean... Mark is asking too much. He's asking, just, right, he, he can't get an exact chip count of somebody who can, hasn't bet yes, all their stack. Yes, exactly, exactly. can only, get exactly. The can only be all just in. say, I can want to view it. You should be able to visualize what they got. Correct. If I was Halpert, I would just say, you can see it, but I'm not going to tell you the exact amount. You should exactly, be able to eyeball it. Exactly, And Eric exactly. rightfully said, I can't count the chips because it's no, not a bet. It's not a bet. It's what's back there. All right. you have to do is be able to see them. That's all. They just have to be with the player. Does view. have a right to see the chip stack, but you're not allowed to ask for exact chip counts. So no, not until the so bet is that. made. So Mark decided to shove all in with his eight top pair, no kicker. There. Oh, whoa! Action still on. Actually still snap in. folded. And he's got the better kicker, but he can't possibly know it. Yeah. He snapped fold out of turn because action was still right. on Anthony. Interesting play. Mark very with a nice pickup. Very well done by Mark. He but has once. Mark has done the best at getting people to fold the best hands. That's Which one thing I like to see. That is the art of this. It's not always the card you have. Like I said, it's your position, knowing the chip stack that yep. you're up against. Yep. And Smelling how weakness, can. pouncing on it. Without a doubt, Drew. That's a great tournament player for sure. Heck yeah. Hey, you know what? That's what makes a good player, period. <laughs> I like it. He says, I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> Look at Hubbard. I'm not hiding. My chips are right here. So aggressive. Yeah, I love it. Tension's high at this final table. Well, once again, as Drew, I mean, Drew Hubbard, and I. You're not wrong, but you don't have to get excited. No, you know? It's all He's good. We just chill. He just has to, like, and both Drew and I said, you know, and the dealer was correct, you cannot yeah. give somebody a chip count uh, that's correct. not already a bet. They just have to be in view. You have to I mean, be a reasonable thing would be like, hey, about how much you got, maybe? And then uh, still, you're, you're not required to answer that question as no. a player in the hand. No, a dealer definitely the not, right. and the, the dealer, Eric, was totally correct. Yeah, he the dealer knows his rules. That's good. Always love to see that. Been a while since we've seen a cooler. Let's go. Give it to me. Says Drew wants someone to get smashed. I want in. blood. Oh man, Brett down to his last two big blinds. Yeah, He's in, in a trouble. danger zone. As super fan Matt would say, danger zone, danger zone. He's in trouble. And he's under the gun, <sighs> which means next hand he's basically all in. Yeah. So he either makes a move here with something, uh, or it's like any face card, jack or better. There it is. That's a that's a hand, bro. Go for that's it. That's it. Jack, Jack seven, seven spades. Uh, yeah, 
Yep, yep. Just as I said, you do not have enough All chips to in. hold a slightly marginal, slightly above mediocre type of hand. Let's see if we get any a call face here. card, any suited. Yep, he's going. He's got a suited face card, so it's the best of both worlds. What more could you ask for? You got to make a move sooner or later. Kevin's going to ask for a chip count. CBN Barstool, you are so right. I'm so delighted to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us. While I agree with you, CB and Barstool, you know, we, we, we encourage uh, rookies, veterans, all types of people to come. Uh, but it is it is best to know the rules. It always and is. you're definitely going to learn the rules as you go. Um, I just feel like it's better to ask questions if you don't know the rules, you know. And not to get question, crazy. Hey, can I get an exact chip count? Then the, the dealer should let you know exactly, hey, man, you can't get an exact chip count unless it's a bet. <laughs> It does help to know the rules for sure. Without a doubt. And you know what? I'm giving a shout out to all you bar stoolers. You guys were great when the Moneymaker Tour was here. I miss you guys. <laughs> I can't fun. wait to talk to you guys again. Definitely was fun. So thanks for joining us, CBN. But yeah, knowing the rules is really a great <laughs> asset, no question. And as Drew said, if you don't, then politely ask. Sometimes people get belligerent, and they really are not very knowledgeable. Oh, I've seen plenty of that. We are on the half century mark here. Hand fifty blinds four eight eight. We see it all day, all night. Here's my favorite poker player comment: I play all over the country. I know the rules of poker. Well, you don't know the rules of this poker room. That's my comment. Every I've, I've house, right? Twice. Exactly. And, you know, if and if you do play all over the world, that's great. But you you should know by now that every house has different rules. You know, the rules of poker are mostly the same, but there are always slight differences no matter what poker room you go to. Our exactly. poker room 30 miles down the road has different rules than the one that we have here. Absolutely correct. There are universal rules, and then there are some that are just, you know, pertinent to that particular house, and it's always best to ask if you're unfamiliar. Man, Kevin really just... Just... Moving, man, moving up, 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 up. We should put a line graph in. It'll just be a straight line going oh, up. Oh, he's just. Everybody else has kind of been slowly creeping up, except for Brett. Brett's taken a massive hit since he started this final table. Yeah. Kevin has been all gas, no breaks. Blind still 488, as we said. <laughs> yeah. There's their mine. Yeah, these is those are my chips. <laughs> I have them in storage. <laughs> 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 Since I decided to put them yeah, in yep. storage. I'm trying to give him some, some room to pitch. Here. Yeah, Anthony's got a storage container in the back. This is where he stores his chips. I like it a lot. They said, are those your chips? <laughs> uh, Help yeah. I like I it. Brett, Brett. Just, just at this point, just taking it. Oh, 74. I think Mark I think Mark called blind. The way he flipped over his hand and he saw it, his reaction looked brand new, like genuine. Oh, smack dab. Brad, all, this is looking like a chop. Made for TV, seven deuce versus seven four of clubs. Made for TV moment, yeah. This is the one. This is the one. It's a 50 50 flip. I think a lot of that percentage is a chop a lot of the times. Smack Except for when you dab. Hit a four so we got clubs draw. right there. Wow. What a big flop for what Brett. What a great flop for yeah, Brett. That's going to do it. That's a double up for Brett. Wow, he, he needed that. He sure did. He hits it with the fours. Well played. Well played. <laughs> Brett says, I'm going to take Brett. Brett was just trying to go all in, praying that, you know, Mark doesn't wake up with a hand. Mark <laughs> just didn't even look. He had seven moves. He did not have a hand. I am. But it just wasn't enough to fold. Brett just wanted to take the big blind so he could play another hand. So well, Mark it's lost okay. around 20K, and Brett now up to seven bigs. Yeah. He says, About I got my double. four more of those, and we're in business. Smack. Dab, Brett. Way to go. What a monster flop. Pairing a flush draw for Brett. You're with not kidding. Clubs. Yeah. Good timing. <laughs> Brett was out of his chair ready to go, <laughs> figuring Mark was going to hit deuce or something. <laughs> I thought the chop was coming for I, sure. I, you know, I said I, I was kind of surprised Brett got out of his chair so fast like he was going to lose. I, uh -huh. thought, I thought it either yeah, probably is a chop. I mean, unless a duck hits and nothing else. Got the domination nation hand. Back to Mark. It's a battle of the blinds here, Drew. 
<laughs> Come on, Eric. Stretch your big hands. You got oh, it, no. Eric makes them work. You guys push those chips into me. Smack dab. An interesting flop for no one. Anthony Vector flush draw. First one to bet wins. I do believe. <gasps> Look at this. I like how Anthony I is not like ready to go with the gun. I it. Gutty. Mark stabbing, hoping that Anthony has nothing. The card Close is smack dab. He exposed the burn. Terrible turn card for everybody. Five high against six high. This could get interesting. A deuce. A Come deuce on, for Anthony. A Mark, deuce. fire again. Fire again. Do it. A deuce for Anthony. Still got the gutter. Yes. Down. He's reaching. Good job, Mark. There you go, Mark. And at this point, Anthony can no longer continue. Mark going to continue. That's yeah. a good bet by Mark. Wow. Very good. Yeah. Although he's bluffing with the best hand. That's the, the craziest part is that he has the best hand somehow with six high. It's all right. You should he's show good. the six. That would be great. Oh, my God. Well, I couldn't even high card you. Oh, Anthony. Pretty rough spot. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Anthony's observation is on point. He says, I was in a rough spot. <laughs> That's an understatement. Smack dab. And you can see our payouts showing back up on the screen. And if you're watching this at home, you can just type in exclamation payouts, and you can get them right on your device. I uh, should note that it's on Twitch that that will come up. It won't yes. come up on YouTube. Correct. That's a Twitch command. That is Twitch command. If you're on Twitch in the chat, you can exclamation point payouts and you'll, they'll, uh, exactly. the bot will uh, automatically give you the payouts there in the chat. Correct. I think I need a coffee, Nancy. I'm telling you, Drew. Order up this man a cafe. Can I get a cafe con leche, por favor? Oh, smack dab. We need a waiter. Ooh, Kevin thinking about raising nine. We Let's says check no, three we'll check. Three, limped onto gun yeah. jack ten. three players to a flop here, Drew. Anthony limped. Okay, I'm, I'm getting, uh, I'm updating. Here we go. Everybody misses. Gotta love it. 15,000. Also gotta love it. Kevin with nothing but the best hand. And he bets. Kevin says... Bluffing with the best of it. That's rare. He's usually bluffing with the worst of it. He's got this under control, He's Drew. Trying something new. He yeah, everything is definitely going Kevin's way. Look at this oh, 66 percent of the chips. He has 886k out of like 1.275 mil, something like that. Not bad. <laughs> about one and a quarter mil of chips in play. He's got two thirds of the chips, bro. Look at the mountain that this guy has in front of him. It's, that's see. the type of game we. Uh, that's a, those are the days that we come back for, you know. Castle, going your castle. Way. Yeah, you got a castle. This is a building castle. Oh, Another limp pot. Let's go, let's go. Smack Deba. We got graphics on the screen. It's all right, we're seeing. All right, we're just going to, I'm going to see a guess what Kevin has. I'm going to guess he's bluffing again, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to guess he's just attacking the limping and the yeah. checking. And taking it down. Another pot going Kevin's way. Heck yeah. Blinds just went up, my dear. 5 10 10. 5 10 10. Yes, sir. Four handed. Brett Pierre with the, the short stack. So I think he's got like 50, 60K at this point, which is much better than the 16 or 20 he had not too long ago. Yes, indeed, my dear. Everybody so else has been pretty solid. Nobody's making any big mistakes. Little shout out to Kevin who ran this daytime tournament to Donnie who's running the nighttime tournament. Oh, Our Jayden, production missed, crew. Yeah, there you go. You missed the card. Oh, uh, we'll get it. We'll just read it. He didn't look at it. I, don't think I, don't look at I saw him not look at it, but yeah. Jaden didn't see it. He says, we I got think it. Anthony saw him not look at it. Come on, Jaden, oh. you're better than that. 
Yeah, every now and then, you know. No, I do the same thing. I'll be honest, I've done this. I did it yesterday. Look at everything. I made a mistake in, during making change. What else did I do? I made a mistake with the rake. I made a couple of mistakes today, but we're going to pretend they didn't happen. because they, uh, they didn't happen. They didn't happen. Wipe the board clean. <laughs> that was yesterday. It was so long ago yeah, I forgot it was, about it. It's not there. I know. <laughs> anything can be fixed, so don't worry. We can fix it all. Everything can be fixed. Oh, oh, yeah, there you go, Jaden. I was about to say, don't put the burn card on the on the board. He almost did it again. We had to stop. I had to stop him earlier. In the All right, good, good job. All in and a fold. Bingo. He says, Bingo. done deal. That was quick. That's We're it, Halper we're taking one. it down. And once again, I'm giving a shout out to our production crew. It's Tuan and Sue and Jason and <laughs> Steffi Mo doing a hell of a job making us look good. And that tall Josh, wherever you are, None of this would be without you. Much love always. Joey D, our tournament director. Does not, AKA the Snap God. Best in the biz. We've got it here. Our I've said it before. Dealers. I'll say it again. We got the best dealers in South Florida right now. Trust me, I know. I've been well, around. Believe me, I've been around too. I can attest to that. Steffi Mo, I love you, girlfriend. You rock, rock, rock. Drew. This good-looking guy next to hey, me, Steffi. rocking the house, rocking the house. Kevin, Kevin premium hand yep. here. Yep, Kevin with a big stack and the big hand. The big hand is named Ooh. Little Slick. Or a girl with a big A. <laughs> Smack <laughs> dab. Nancy, I love it. Yeah. All right, Mark's going to defend with a ace, just an ace. Let's see what we got. A right now, that girl hits Kevin. in the window. Mark's going to check fold for sure. Yep. Next, I'm already on the next hand. Uh, next hand. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's not even giving I'm Mark a chance to look. No, I already Drew know says, Mark. He's going to go. I know Mark's style. He's going to go. Unless he makes an insane shove here. He's, he's just, I don't go. see him. He hasn't gotten out of yeah. He hasn't gotten out of line. Not at all. And when he does, it's well timed. And I don't think this was well timed. So. And he knows better. Look at you yeah. can't go up against Kevin either. That's It'd the wrong bad. person you to go up against. What the heck are you thinking? Uh, don't go against a guy who hasn't lost a hand. In this two guy's hours. got almost seventy percent of the chip stack. What the heck? Yeah, chips in play. Up, I mean, excuse up. me. You're not going to go after his chip stack. What it the would heck? be a bad idea. Very bad. It this would be is bad. like I said. There are many, many lessons of a lot of people. This, like I said, this is not just entertainment. This is so educational. You can learn a lot. Kevin oh waking God, up with my hand. This, Heck yeah, Kevin. Look at this hand after You hand. know who's sitting yeah. in the booth. That's my hand. Let's go. I do like pocket tens. First time today. But if anybody has action, Mark with another ace. No, he's not here. He tried it once. He's not going to do it again. He says, I'm not feeling it. No. Anthony, king, queen. Anthony going to defend with a very defendable hand. Absolutely. All the difference the here. Yeah, and all the difference Anthony in the flop here. Smack dab, great six flop five. for tens. Yes, it is a very safe flop for tens. Kevin says, I'm going to keep the pedal to the metal. 56K in the pot. 20 is a good sizing. Anthony not happy. Missing flops. No pair, no draw, no yeah. nothing. I know. It's an easy fold for Anthony. Yeah. He says, I want to call, but I can't. No. Pocket tens. Kevin knows that the OG old girl sitting He's in the He's got to be up to nine by Smack now. Smack Six, dab. seven, eight. He's got to be up to 900K Antoine right the Don. Antoine Smack the Don. dab. Thank you for joining <laughs> us, my dear. Thank you. Antoine the Don. I love it. Antoine the Don. Yeah, they know. Pocket tens. It's the OG's hand. Heck yeah. Kevin represent taking it down. Well done. Heck yeah. Antoine the Don, how are you, my Antoine? Halper got that 10 7. Brett got the AJ. AJ all day. This could be a possible move here for Brett. He is kind of low on the totem pole and needs to do something. And exactly as I advertised, he moves all in with the ace jack, just as the OG said. Oh, boy. Kevin's got a hand worth looking him up. He got the ace five of love. Brett in good shape for a double up here. He's going to need it. Brett's going to need a flop 
a straight draw, a flush draw, or a five in order just to have a chance. Well, Brett's got the AJ, Kevin got the ace five of Brett love. Is a two to one favor. Oh my god, five in five the window. Five in the window. Wow. Oh. Spag Dabba. Yeah, Brett's down to two outs and he does not find it not on the river. It. And it's Brett, you played one hell of a game. Yeah, Brett. it's unfortunate You're when you get cold decked and uh, you know run yep. bad. I mean, he just he just didn't have hands and but he he, he no. got chiseled down like you said. Let me tell you something. He's gonna take fifth place. Yeah, How absolutely. much is that? Nancy? It's six hundred twenty-eight dollars plus. Not they all bad. kept, they all kept their bounties. So he's plus got the bounties in his pocket. That whatever additional bounties they may or may exactly, not have. Exactly, exactly, Drew. Just like that, we're four-handed and the rich get richer. Look at this man. He's this guy's got seventy-three percent. He's up to three quarters of the chips in play. He should just take first place and let everybody chop <laughs> the others. Let everybody chop three ways. That wouldn't be even that bad, I'll tell you right now. That's not a bad idea. That tall There's Josh actually, in the house. Thank you, that tall Josh. All the love. Hey. None of this would be without you. You are the man. You rock the most. Heck yeah. And this old girl OG knows what she's talking about. There's actually no reason for Kevin to even consider a chop right now. Why? Look at now he wakes up with pocket trays. This is good. Small blind. Go aggressive. <laughs> gets <laughs> Halbert to fold. This is smack dab Just going all in. That's going your way. Like, this, is, this is actually pretty fun to watch. I'm gonna be oh, honest. my God. It's a great, great event. <laughs> this is and the Kevin show today. You have also heard me say people in a small blind don't be weak in a small blind. That just shows you right there. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah. So true. And once again, like I've said, it's not just entertaining. It is so educational. You guys can really pick up on so many valuable tools if you want to be in and play this game. Let's not forget, if you want to run like Kevin, don't forget Anthony, to, to crush move aces it. with pocket jacks. Anthony, other oh. gun, mystery and moving all in. We can't see what he's got, nope. but he shoves for nine on, bigs. He, yes. And it's folded around to Mark. With queen six off. Easy Not fold. very defendable at all. Easy fold. Can't look him up with queen high. Anthony, it's okay. We picked up some blinds here. Nothing to sneeze at. Remember the blinds at 5, 10, 10. I can feel Anthony's frustration. You know, we Everybody up. seems a little, you know, they're all very patient. But at the same time, man, Kevin's getting all the cards. You're just looking at that. Bro, look at the size of this chip stack. Castle on, castle on, castle. 73% of the I chips know. in play. Hey, Kevin. Kevin and Halpert. Oh, Kevin. Hand. Yes, he does. Kevin might raise with his but you know what? Yeah. K7 alone. Oh, he's limping. All right, limp is right. Yeah, That's Halpert's good. Here comes shove, the all obviously. in. To be expected. Halpert with the shove with Queens. Queens is Anthony one of my favorite hands that I lose with. Anthony with a mystery hand. He's looking. He's looking to see what the blinds are. He's looking to see what the oh, yeah, payouts we are. Hand yet. Oh, he's considering this. He needs. Yes, he wants a chip count. Maybe hey. he's. See now, this is an opportunity for you to get a chip count since the bet has been made. Correct. You just took the words out of my mouth. I didn't <laughs> no, want to interrupt you, but that was exactly that. what I was going to say. Yep, yep, yep. Wow, Anthony's really considering this. Yeah, it's you. For, it's for. He's for half his chips. He's in the big blind. He's got the mystery hand. Don't know if he's going I mean, don't forget that Kevin limped under the gun. Yeah. Yes. Kevin's got the chip stack to definitely call Halbert. Yeah, he's just going He's going to call. Bro. Why not? I it. would. You got the momentum. So why not? I mean, to be fair, not? yeah. It, it, you know, you can make one mistake. This might be the only mistake I made him. See, it's not a huge mistake. No, really not. Only 55K more. And he's That's got practically he's got a million in chips. Call it. All Smack diamonds, really dab. Good for All good for Halpert. He's got two outs, two black kings. Wow, that was oh, close. Oh, that was close. Halpert gets his double up. And that's okay because Kevin, right. look at it was affordable. 55 See, what time is it? That's the first hand I've seen this man lose in three hours. That's it. That's <laughs> yes. True statement. Kevin's still very healthy. With oh, I think I think I think Kevin Kevin called Betty and gave her a double up earlier on. So ah, true, true, true. So he's just helping him out. I think I think it's just he thinks you know what I'll give you a double up. Keep Give it back to the economy. Look, he's still, he's yes. still got, he's still got three look at look, look what he's got. He's got seventy four percent of the chips With still. Nine hundred thirty five. Yeah. Twelve bigs, eleven bigs. He says, "I still want to play. I want to keep some guys around." He's got ninety bigs, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you. Wow. It's incredible. It's incredible. He's got 90 bigs. Hand 61. 
I do believe blinds are 5-10-10. Yeah. Mark's got the kennel club hand, K9. It is off suit, but he says, I'm not feeling I it. I feel like it's shovable, except for the fact that Kevin's range is so wide on the big line. He doesn't. That's like the one person that you don't want to have the big you, blind. <laughs> exactly. You cannot go against this. It's hard stand. to take that man's big blind, bro. He's got 90 of them. Not true. <laughs> you, you just fold anything when you're when, when he's the big blind. Oh, I mean, you got to have. You got to have. It's like ace 10, pocket nine is better. You know what I mean? Like, you got to have God. top of your range. You really have to have top and of range. And then you, you got to not get unlucky. Look, at you're going against this chip stick. Why would you even bother? I fold. I get. Oh, now I remember. You're right. I saw he, he, he made a raise and then called Betty. When he had five, that's four what suited. I just so said. His, his range is super wide, right? And it's even wider now that he's got all those ships. And not only that, there's only four players at the table. Everybody's range got to be wider now. He's so got the they? momentum, though, but just nobody wants to be the next one out. But you're not gonna exactly. Why would you go up against him? That's the one guy I don't want to go against. Thank Look at you. This. Alpert says I'll go along for the ride. Alpert says I'm tired of this. I'm gonna look it up. He's got a suited queen. And no pair on the Ooh. flop. Kevin made a pair. Kevin's got the deuces. He's got the okay. upper hand here. 20 more. 20 more. He says, yep. heck How yeah. About 15? How about 15? Notice the way he bet. I love he it. I saw the way he bet. It was almost like I would have, I think I would have raced. It looked like, it looked like it wasn't, it wasn't. The it powerful, wasn't the whole, the powerful. The whole move. When he threw the 20, it looked powerful. When he threw the 15, it was very meek. Yeah, but you know what? It also looked like, but come on after me. Yeah, yeah. It could have been like. Come on after me. could have been anything. Wow. I'm trying to get you to bite. I think it's, I think I'll help it right. I think you read it right. He says, I'm trying to get you to bite. Halbert with queen high, not looking to make the move, but oh boy. Anthony. Oh, snap. Crackle. Anthony, pop. Don't, don't shove. Make it like 20, 25. Yes. Get some value. I know it could be crazy, get but. Get some value. Ugh. He's all I, I kind of knew he was going to do that. Yeah. Except for it says he has 92. Okay, he doesn't have 92. He has less than 92. He's got like He's, 72. Yeah. Maybe Albert Foles. I think so because Albert he did. Foles. He picked He's up 10. the blinds. Albert Mark gets rid, the, Walter gets rid of the Walter. Gets rid of the Peyton. Walter Peyton, 34. That's all right. Anthony picking up again. He's picking up uh, the blinds. What did you show? Again. Kings. Yeah, he had kings. Look at he's picking up twenty five thousand right there at a pop. So there's no shame in that. Yeah, we know the aggression frequency is, <laughs> but, yeah. but these numbers are all there because everybody's playing. Yeah. At this point, everybody's got yeah. over twenty percent because you just gotta play hands four handed. And once again, blinds are five, ten, ten. Kevin, all all gas, no breaks, min click. Without a doubt, with a jack-10, why not? Mark's not going to get involved. Anthony is going to defend. I like a 94 of love. Like Let's it. go. He says, whoo. Anthony misses. Kevin's got a gut shot, but he's got He's going to lead out, momentum. of course. He's got the chips. He's got the position. He's got all the reasons to bet. And Anthony, unfortunately, has nothing to go with. Of course. Pretty Hold sure Kevin already got fan. the chips back that he doubled up with uh, Albert. You know what? We're going to try to get Drew to get the mic a little bit closer to him so you can hear him. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Oldham fan. Appreciate the input. Always appreciate it. I know. I, I have to hold the mic closer to mine, too, because the same thing happens to me. And 65. Yes, you will. Do we get another break eventually? <laughs> Alfred, <laughs> great question. Halpert, great question. Anthony, great answer. Eventually. This is tremendous. This is just amazing, amazing play, amazing players. It's the Kevin Show. It's a heck of a show. We're on hand 66, or as they say, Route 66.
He's Folding saying, is not in Kevin's vocabulary. <laughs> we got a battle of the blinds here. Niners in the window. Helper with the mystery hand. 40 Niners. Niners. Kevin easily can lead out. Yeah, Kevin just going to stab. See where he's at. See if Albert's going to go along with his mystery hand. I don't know. He's playing around. Eh. Oh, he oh. reached for 20 and then just, I don't know. Yeah, he's gonna oh, oh, he's, he's slipping. Okay, he's going flat. That's okay. Let's, let's go. See. Okay. Let's Is Jack see. High good here? I don't know. I don't know what Albert's got. Mm. Oh, Alfred's got the it king. Is not. <laughs> Alfred's got the king. Or the, or the nine. I wonder if he's slow playing that. I haven't seen him slow play yet. Maybe this was nah, the one time. I think he's got a king. i go with a king. He hits it on the river. Because Halpern, last time he had nine, hit the nines, he bet out, remember? Right. He's not going to sit there and not bet out. He wants to get some value for that. Blue Frog, so good to see you. How are you, my dear? Thank you for joining us. You guys know. Yep. Follow, like, subscribe, Twitch, YouTube. Yes, please. Press all the buttons. All of them. All of them. Go for all of the buttons. Kevin, you know it's going to be Kevin here. is not folding, or it's not in his vocabulary. Why? He's literally got no reason to fold. Yeah. What the heck for? Mark is on the short stack side. Yeah. Mark says, let's go. Three players looking at a flop. Right now. Nothing for nobody. No. Couple of I like spades. it. Kevin just, I mean, uh, sorry, Mark, Mark just decided. Let's go. Ah, you know what? Time. Kevin, though, Kevin is has not going to With King yeah. High? Yeah. That would be a crazy call. Yeah, but he's got everybody covered to the max. So. Right. What, 42000 a call? What does he give Mark? He's going to fly. Let it fly. He's going to let Mark take it. Mark shoving with a pot size bet with nine high. Going to take it down. Interesting play. Definitely an interesting play. Was a well, well done by Mark. Well done. I was kind of shocked that Kevin didn't call. Mark actually gets the better hand to fold. Uh, I mean. Only because it's only 42,000. Right. Uh, it's very and, cheap. Uh, uh, Kevin's holding what? Kevin had king high, king eight, five five yeah, three. No, no, no. I see he's got seventy five percent of the chips. Oh yeah, it might be more. Play, now. yeah. He might actually be we up to eighty. Was, we know as old as Ann, but he's got an unbelievable chip stack. Kevin is not folding. Why? With the king, queen five of spades, I, you don't fold. I don't fold. He says, Dude, we I can raise. Look at, look at, you can see the frustration on everybody's face. <laughs> sure, because they're looking at this mountain of chips over I there. Mean, he's, he's in every hand. How do nobody's I, getting a hand. Yeah, but how do I go after him is the, is the issue. That's the whole you issue. You need a hand. Even when you get a hand, what's the difference? What well, kind of hand you get? Look I'd what you're rather, up against. If I'm going to get called, which is highly likely, I'd rather have a hand to with, go up against him. You know. I totally agree with you. It's a tough spot for literally everybody but except every for Kevin. It's smooth sailing for Kevin. I would understand if some, but every, all the other three guys are pretty much equal along. That They're all super short. Yes. They all have 12 bigs or less. Or less. Kevin's up for like 100 bigs, man. <laughs> this is one for the history books. This is one for... So Anthony knows when he tries to limp, Kevin is going to attack. He's done it many, many times before. And Anthony just, yep. Uh, I just Look at this. Drop. I know. It's hard to go against that momentum <laughs> of Kevin. The also castle. That chick stack. Yeah, that I said chick stack. Yeah, chick, chick stack. stack. He probably have, might have chick probably, stack too with have, that chick stack. He might have those at home too. You never know. With that kind of money, honey, smack <laughs> dab. Yeah, you guys are here at all of the, the races that are going on in the background. I was going to say, it is very lively out there. Oh, this is the time of year. I already mentioned Florida Derby, Arkansas Derby coming up. I do believe that's going to be next Saturday on the 30th, yes. 25. Ooh. <laughs> says. Halbert just snapped, flips over six of deuce. Like, here oh, you go. What am I supposed to do with this? 
That's it's all good. It's all good. It's Kevin's castle. I think Kevin's the only person who wants to hand the pass to Orbitz. It feels like <laughs> pretty wild. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, this is fun to watch. This Unfortunately so for everybody good. else, they're not having fun, bro. These poor guys are like struggling. And Savage, Just he give won. Kevin first place and chop up the last three. I, no, you I'm know what? I'm kidding, but it almost might be worth it at this point. Uh, yeah, for the other three guys, they're equal. Lord. They're equally in the yeah. same boat. Uh, I mean, know. Mark is super short. Anthony is super short. He's got 60K, exactly. 40K. Alpert is the only one that's got a little something. something but Alpert's the only one with, and he's only got 10 or 12 bigs. Yes. Yeah, it's 10,000. on. Thank you, Jaden. Something happened. <laughs> Yeah. Two more yeah. Two more oh, yeah. He, oh, okay. he called, Halbert, but he didn't throw he enough. He limped money for eight yeah. instead of ten. So yeah. And no, no, no. Uh, you got it. Okay, he's got the ten completed. Yes, and then, it's completed. Yeah. Here. Yeah. yeah. He just threw in the wrong one. He made. We put an eight. Got to yeah. put ten. Yeah. So you got the ten. There you go, Mark. Everything's good. All's well. All's good in the hood. All right, that hand is now completed. We're moving on. Once again, blinds are at 5, 10, 10. Just reminding everybody. Everything well, well taken care of. Dealers in the house. Kevin says, I think I can get up and take a look. I was going to say, you can take a break for two orbits and be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Let the other boys battle it out. All right, here we got some action. Halpert raised on the button. Mark, snap shove. Oh, they have Ooh, the same hand. That's not exciting. Ooh, they got the same hand. Anthony with the mystery. Wait. Oh, I thought Halpert folded. He hasn't folded yet. Oh, no. Mark went all in. Halpert's still fold. there. How do you fold? I don't know. Wow, he just does. Like that. Just, just like, like that. that. Mark. Nice move, Mark. You got the chop to fold. That's it. <laughs> Anthony said I only folded because he was sure Halbert was going with him. Does that mean, is, is Anthony uh, implying that he would have called had Halbert not called? Not, co or not been knew, in. If he knew Halbert was going to fold, then he probably would have called. I, I didn't see so. where his hand was, though. He had a mystery hand. Nobody saw uh, okay. it. We, didn't get, to see we it. didn't get to see it at all, but uh, there we go. Graphics are now showing 5, 10, 10 on the blinds. I told you it all gets fixed. Mark, ace, nine, all in position with the ace, nine, a yeah, diamond. Yeah, pretty standard. That was great, though. Halpert Limpfold. Halpert now in trouble with, yes. like, 50 or 60K. Yes. yes. Mark moving it up towards 150. Anthony in the danger zone as well. Yes, my dear. But Mark, Mark making those moves and making right. them timely, it's doing it well. Everything he's done is pretty well timed today. Absolutely, dear. His bluffs have been well timed. His shoves have been well timed. Yeah. Look and at he's really the only one who could put a dent. He, it would it would be much of a dent, but it would be about a fifteen percent dent. Yeah. Into Kevin's stack. Mark K nine with the kennel at the kennel club hand with the kennel club K nine at the kennel club under the gun. That's or I mean, not? Yeah, it's a fold or. Totally Anthony good. says, oh, he's got 9 He's all in. He's only got 9K? Yeah. Or is that 17? Is it? And maybe that is 17. <laughs> Those I are three red chips, yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's 17. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Do I oh, we're going three ways. No, I had to lean in to, to see that it was three yeah. red chips. 17. There we go. Anthony is at risk in a three-way pot. Nobody's got a pair. No. Queen high is actually good somehow. Right now. Very possibly check down to the river. Oh my gosh. Uh nine. nine Everybody hits. misses. Queen high is good. Yes, Halford gets the wow. check mark on this hand here. Anthony is going to be taken out. Anthony. Oh my god, what a great game. What a great play, my dear. You are gonna go home with eight hundred fifty seven dollars plus the bounties that are already in your pocket, and we know you have a few of those. So. I'm going to go ahead and put this out there. Anthony's uh, seating position was unfortunate because he had Kevin on his left. Oh. Every time he tried to limp, Kevin was attacking correctly, you know. Uh, Without even, a doubt. Even when Kevin didn't have hands, he was just correctly uh, attacking uh, all of Anthony's passive limps. 
without a doubt. Ooh, and it just Kevin, did not work for him. Anthony's out in fourth place. Kevin holding 79% of the chips in play. So It's a big number. Let me tell you something. It's a Again, lot of percent. And Kevin playing superbly because you really definitely is. have to keep the pedal to the metal. You All do gas. Have to keep, yes. All gas, no brakes. Got to keep the pressure on. You just have to. Is the only way to get to finality here. The only way to stay in control is to continue to stay in control. Mark Jack. got a pretty good flop. Nice flop. Checking the big blind. Top pair with a goodie. Back to our flush draw. Yes, absolutely. Good enough for 20K. That should probably take it down. We can't see Albert's hand, but I just can't assume. I can't imagine him having a hand with limping and checking. Yeah. Next hand. Moving on. Moving on up. Kevin, I love, and I love Kevin's demeanor. He just has the greatest demeanor. Seems He's like a very chill dude. Chill all I the mean, way. I mean, I would be very happy and chill if I were in his seat right now. Too. But he was like that all the way from yeah, the time he got true. to this table. He has never changed. The demeanor is the same. You're not wrong. 76. Kevin with the Kojak. Hopper with the King 8. We're not going three ways. He's going to raise. Smack dab, of He's course. He's 100% going to raise. Kick jack, why wouldn't you? Halpert with another limb fold. He's trying to get in cheap, and, and Kevin is not letting him do it. Also, Mark has been attacking Halpert's limps. Halpert's having a tough time at this stage. Look at why would Kevin let anybody get anything cheap? What the heck for? We are on hand 77, 77 Sunset Strip. Smack dab for all you old folks like yours truly. Mark's going to open up his range on the button. I like to see it. Nicely done. Chooses a 3x option. I'm surprised to see Kevin even think about folding. Oof. Halpert. Halpert with the snap call. Oh, clubs could get interesting here. This is very dicey. Put a club draw out there. No, Not mind. one club. All red. We got a pair versus a pair, though. Yes. Mark hits the seven. Halpert hits the jack. There we go, Mark Now, says. Mark is going to attack the fact that Halpert is tight. He's checked. And Mark has a pair and position. Absolutely. I was just going to say And also, that. he raised pre. He's got the range advantage. It's more likely that Mark has an ace in his hand as opposed to Halpert's. But maybe Halpert can just call here because he's short. See if Halper gets I three. Know, I think he doesn't want. To. Yeah, yeah, he's not feeling his good body about language it. saying yeah, he's not he's feeling not, it. He's not comfortable in this in this spot. Oh no. Mark yeah. has got the best hand to fold on numerous occasions. Mark's playing superbly. He really is a tough cookie. Looking job, at Mark. looking at that castle of Kevin and Mark still playing a, his game. He's still got this game, but Halp he's still playing it to the T. Halpert is stuck in between a rock and a hard place. I didn't hear what Jason's announcement was. I wonder if there was a break coming up, and maybe they want to choose not to not to take it, or maybe they need a break. I didn't hear what happened. I am so sorry. I just had to step. Away no, no, you're for good. I'm just saying. Second, I, I so. heard something, but I didn't catch it. It might be that they're going on a break next. I could actually find that out. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find it here in a moment. Yes. Why do you need a break? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hopper says, why do we need a break? <laughs> Kevin says, I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go. Mother Nature calling. There we are. Jason is correct. Okay, we are we're going on a circle. quick little 10 minute break. We'll be maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Either way, we'll be Absolutely. back in about 10 minutes. Absolutely. I'm going to just, guys, tell you a few little things while we're going on break here. They're going to color up these chips, guys, um, and that's going to make it easier for everybody. Everybody's going to get a little break. And just so in case you guys didn't hear earlier, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Twitch, YouTube, follow, like, subscribe. 
next month, April 4th through the 7th. It's it's our Monster Multi-Flight. $300 buy-in, 100-plus guaranteed there. Last time we crushed over $200-some thousand dollars. If you can't afford the $300 buy-in, $65 satellites will be available, and you will find yourself, just like Perry, going in for 65 bucks, getting the seat, taking down third for like 15 k Not a bad day. Anyway, guys, also what's coming up on April 12th, the $10 poker party. That's always a fun time. And you guys, on uh, April 21st is our great charity tournament. It's benefiting causes like autism awareness and so on. Um, once again, don't forget March 31st, Easter Buffet in the paddock. That's our beautiful, wonderful restaurant that's in the building right next to us with our award-winning chef, Great Cuisine. Go online, pbkennelglove.com to get more information, or you can call 561-683-2222. Ask for the panic to make some reservations there. Don't forget, April 19th and 20th, Polly Shore will be here. Once again, pbkennelglove.com. Don't worry, just go online. You can get the tickets there. They do sell out fast. Look at Adam Carolla is here tonight. Uh, that dinner, oh, that already started, I do believe. Yes, I'm losing track of time. Dinner starts at 6.30 and the show starts about 8 o'clock. Um, don't forget, the Rooney 5K Run Walk. Also with some great charities, Sheriff's Department, so on and so forth, on March 30th. And for all you horse bettors, Florida Derby, Arkansas Derby. You know those stakes races are coming up on March 30th as well. Guys, you know what? We're going to take just a tiny little break here. We're going to be back with you, and we shall be right back in a few. Don't go anywhere. We have more action on the way. Thank you so much for joining.
Hello, everybody. We are back. They did the color up. They had their little break. Second and third, if you chopped it, it's sixteen hundred bucks. Okay, I'm fine with playing too. I don't care. Kevin was really nice. He just said, "Hey, if you guys want to chop second and third, we could call it a day," which is a heck of a great offer, really, because look at his. Kevin is holding. 1.1 million, 82% of the chips in play. Mark has made an amazing play, amazing play to make a comeback to hold 190. And Halpert's got three big blinds left at 35K. So Mark did not want to do any kind of chop or any kind of deal. Mark wants to play it out. And Kevin said he'll play. He'll play all day. These guys are amazing, you know. I mean, it's just... Yep, they're ready to rock and roll. We're ready to rock and roll. Guys, we are back. We have uh, a Jaden in the box dealing. I'm giving a shout out to our unbelievable production staff. Our production crew, Sue, Jason, Steffi, Mo, and Tuan, just making us look good. My co-host, Drew, unbelievable. Kevin running this tournament today. Donnie running the tournament tonight. You guys rock amazing. And that tall Josh, none of this would happen without you. All the love. Thank you so much, dear. And Joey D, our tournament director, putting all of these events together. Joey D, a.k.a. The Snap God. Thanks, Joey. We love you. All the love to everybody. We are back. Hand 79. Blinds are now 10,000, 15,000, 15,000. Yes, they're <laughs> up there. Mark waking up with the Doyle hand in the small blind up against Kevin. <clears throat> Kevin says, I'll go heads up. We're going to see a flop. Smack dab. Mark leads out. I like it. I like it a lot. Mark does have the better hand. He did not get the better hand to fold. He got the worse hand to fold. The blinds are now at 10, 15, 15. These guys have been playing since 11, 15 this morning. We started with 51 players. We're down to our top three players. Um, once again, the, the Twitch command to get the payouts on here is just, if you're on Twitch, exclamation mark payouts. But first prize will get 3,061, second prize gets 1,893, and third prize will get 1,240. And we are... Halford going all in, Kevin giving him a call. 8-6 versus 76. Couple of deuces with a girl. Heart there. Jack coming. Ten coming. Smack dab. It is a chop. Chopper. Chopping it up. That's it. Well said, Jaden. That's exactly. Yes, whenever the. Yes. Correct. Correct. Jaden just explained it perfectly. Alfred, don't worry. You got it. <laughs> Hand 81. Blinds 10, 15, 15. Alfred, small blind with the, with the 96 of the love. Kevin, raising it to 35K. Got position, got the chips, got everything. Let's see what Halpert's going to do here. Yes, we're back. Mark, big blind position with the mystery hand. Let's see, is he's. 
going to go heads up now to a flop. Let's see what we got. Heads up. Mark checks. Here's where Kevin can stronghold this. Nice, nice size bet on Kevin's part. Mark's gonna <laughs> move all in. Kevin gets the information that he wants. He got exactly the information that he wanted by putting that bet out. It's a mystery hand to us, but... Mark, as usual, another well-timed, aggressive play. Always. Just to recap, opening hand, Mark, Mark pressed on, but Mark had the better hand. Kevin okay. folded well read by Kevin. So Mark shipped up two hands in a row? No. And no, he just mm. basically, yeah, they folded. He, he just took down the blinds. But okay. then it was heads up between Halvern and Kevin, and they chopped the pot. So in the third hand, you just saw. So just to bring my co-host up to speed here and everybody else up to speed, and thank you so much for joining us. We cannot thank you enough. Follow, like, subscribe, Twitch, YouTube. You know where we're at. 1111 North Congress here, PBKC, right across from Palm Beach International Airport. You know the line. Hop on a plane, jump on a bus, get in your car, come and see us. We're here all day, all night. Tell them, man, so you know the vibe. Heck yeah. We be rocking. <laughs> Interesting. Mark is up to 300K. Right. I think he had like 150 at the break. He did. And he has chipped up nicely these past couple of hands, huh? He has played Excellent. just no, very well. Yes, he has. He hits some great, great flop here. Even though Kevin hits the nine, Mark gets two diamonds. I mean, Mark has a, has a flush draw, obviously. Back yes. to a straight draw. There's the right back to a straight now, draw. there's the back to a straight draw for but Kevin. Kevin, Kevin too. Kevin has the nines with the flush draw. This one could get ugly. With, with, <coughs> with the better flush draw, to be exact. Mark's got no reason to slow down. He got more outs. No reason for Kevin to slow either. And Kevin's got more outs too. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Interesting river card. It's a brick. Kevin. It's Kevin's his got hand. the check mark now. Yes. We. I was just going to say we've seen Mark make some phenomenal plays in spots like this, but he chose not to try it. It would have worked, I think. I think it would have worked, but it would be risky. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yep, he Kevin. Barreled. Well, he had. Yeah, it's yes. Like, he had third pair. I don't think. <coughs> I don't think Kevin could call the third barrel. No. That's what I'm saying. If Mark fires if that. If he river, fires up, yeah. I think it works. But <coughs> Mark decided not to risk it. He just got these chips. He but still got 250. -ish. Yes. But then I heard Kevin saying he was he was watching him. He said I was so. calling. That's a lie. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't he know. Knows with Kevin because he still he's has got, a lot of chips. He's got over a million in chips. Still got a lot know. of chips. So Halpert sure. is automatically all in for the big blinds. Correct. And he's going to see terrible news. He's got a terrible hand, and it's being dominated. In this spot, you'd love to be live, but no, no way. No way. He doesn't have enough for the. He doesn't have enough for the ante. Yeah, it just goes away. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eric doing a good job of explaining the rules to Mark, who Mark seems a little bit new to tournaments, but he's doing very well as a poker player, obviously. That's correct. But, uh, but yeah, the, yeah, wow. Halpert needs a big card for a chop. Uh, wow, it's oh, a small card. Oh, it's the nine plays. Halpert, great wow. play, my dear. Great game. Yeah. You are going right to take. Right when I thought I had Halpert figured out, he he, he changed gears he, on me. I know. And he played a great. He mixed up his game really so well. He's going to take home $1,240. Small, big. Big, yeah, that's correct. Correct. Yep. Can never be big blind twice, and it's correct when Halpert Mark, went all in, doesn't have enough Halpert to cover was just the end. big blind. Correct. 
he was a small blind. That means the button, that means Mark is automatically going to be a big blind, which automatically makes Kevin the button and the small blind. That is absolutely right, Drew. So nobody's been the big blind twice. Everything is correct. Good job, Eric. And that's how it's done, because nobody can be the big blind twice for anybody out there. And Eric explained everything perfectly. That's yeah, right. Job, he was Eric. all in for the big blind. He gets applied to the big blind. He couldn't cover the ante. That's absolutely correct. Everything correct. Everything right on top. Yes, we've got great dealers and great players. And once again, Halpern, great job. You took home that $1,240 plus those bounties that are in your pocket. And you did. He was switching up his game, making it exciting for all. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was very tight, very, and then he started stepping up his aggression in spots where I didn't expect it. So I like to see that from Halpert. I'm sure we'll see him again in the future. Without a doubt. And here we are, heads of action. And Mark is a firm one to play. He did, when they came back from break, Kevin made an offer of, why don't you guys want to chop up second and third, whatever, something like that, or any kind of thing. And I'm guessing Mark, Mark said no. Mark said absolutely not. He's going to play it out. Wow. So Kevin says, I got no problem playing it out. It's ballsy. I so, like it. I know. I know. That means Mark is confident in his game, even though he's at a, he's at a disadvantage at this point, but he knows that his skill set is pretty top tier. He's been playing very well. Like very I said, he has made multiple, in multiple occasions, he's made the best hand fold, and I love to see that type of poker. He's very deliberate in his playing. Very in analytical, too. Absolutely. Once again, he had 86 blinds, 10, 15, 15. Smacked a <laughs> little three bet there. Yeah, nine, six off, not the greatest of hands to defend with. Let's try again. I like it. Kevin says, would you move the button, please? Eric, you got it. Yeah, look at this. He's got a four to one <laughs> chip lead. As of right now, Kevin's got the four to one chip lead. He's still got 80% of the chips in play. That would give Mark, obviously, the other 20%. Once oh. again. Mark going to ship it with a Mark king. Mark going all in. Kevin does not have a hand to call with. I've been down this route once before. We <laughs> had our monster multi-flight. We had a two and a half an hour heads up. Was it Alex and uh, what's Alex it called? Yeah, I heard about Nile. that. And Alex it was, and Nile, yeah, two, it was two phenomenal players in incredible. Their, own, their own right. And Alex was sitting in Mark's position. Nile was in Kevin's position. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex again, took it down? I mean Alex took that one down? No, Nile takes it down. Oh, Nile took that one down. Nile okay. gives up a lot by taking his foot off the gas. Interesting. Uh, I said, once you're in this position, all in. Gets Kevin a fold. Yep. Mark is stepping up. This is what Alex did. And Alex starts taking chips and gnawing away by being the aggressor and yep. Nile keeping his foot off the pedal. Grinding him down, grinding yeah. him down. It ends up going back to Nile with a couple of superb plays and moves by now when he starts to get his momentum back and put his foot back on the gas. And that's where we're at. I mean, I'll be honest, it. I love to see it. It's it's a, it's it's a very difficult to get players who are willing to play it all the way down. Yes. Because a lot of the times, you know, people have been playing for six, seven, eight hours. They get tired. They want to yes. make a deal. So to see this happen is actually pretty fun and exciting. It's very much so. And on top of that, Mark is really just, he's just shoving, shoving, shoving. He's trying to get them chips little by little. He's grinding it down. He's about 100K up. Without a doubt. Three hands, nice throw. Without a doubt, Drew. We're okay. playing for a difference of twelve hundred dollars. Three thousand for first, eighteen hundred for second. Absolutely. Give or take a couple of bucks. Yeah, yes indeed. We're going to see a flop here, my dear. King six of love versus king four off suit. Little check, check. Let's see what we hit here. <coughs> right now it's chop, and chop suey. Eric, there's no choking allowed in the box, bud. Well, smack dab. Chop suey. Chop suey unless somebody decides to bet. Somebody wow. leads out. There it is. The move. There it is. 
Taking a, a big bet too. We bet 90 to 100k. That's a large bet. That's a very difficult to call. That's the way to go, Mark. Well timed, Mark. Mark stepping up the timing, uh, stepping up his. I mean, he's already been well timed with his aggressive moves, and he has not stopped. Love it. He's he's keeping his game plan just going along. Smack dab. Red pilled. Oh, smack dab. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. We need a smack dab emote. You know, a little caricature of the OG old girl <laughs> with the smack dab. Market a limp for 5K more. We're going heads up. Limp hot. Mark with a Getty. Oof. Getty Getty. Kevin with 10 high. Not much going on there. Still in the lead, though, Kevin. Still in the lead. Ace on the turn doesn't change much. Nobody raised. Highly unlikely that anybody has an ace. Mark it up. Mark like he's got it. Yeah. I feel like it's just, yeah, I guess yeah. he's just going to attack on the fact he's, that Kevin's yeah. not He gets a check from Kevin. You he's got position. Yes. you got to take down all the pots that you can tell that Kevin doesn't want. Absolutely <laughs> correct, my dear. Absolutely correct. And what's Mark up to? One, two, three, three fifty, Something like that? Wow. Yeah. Yes. Interesting. It's been great, great play. Kevin with the mystery, Mark with 10-9. Kevin says, I don't like it at all. Let's not even bother. He said, like, give me my small blind. I love Eric. He says, Kevin, can you move the button, please? Smack dab. Eric don't want to stretch to move the button. He says... I feel like Eric can just take the button and put it on the left or right side of the board. And uh, I, you know <laughs> what, I, I'm crazy, but I, even with a broken vertebrae, I get up, I move the crap, yeah. I don't ask. I just do it. I want it done. I just don't ask. But no shame in Eric's game. He's got this <laughs> down. I'll tell you right now. Yeah, this could be an interesting hand. Both playable. Yo, they're almost both raisable. I thought maybe it was going to be a limp check, but. Kevin said, ah, ah, you ain't getting cheap. That's a big bet. He made it 70 more. Red, red pilled, yes. More. Yes, the answer is yes. There's still in our 1-2 cash game, we still have the $2 on the button, my dear. And it's the reason being is we don't allow a chop in that game, and the only way to inside action is to have that there. So that is yes. We don't like chops, but we do love action. Yes, because it's the so, action palace. So, yeah, our one twos are two one two, technically three yeah. blind game. Absolutely. I had to explain that to somebody the other day who had never played it before. He said, What is that? I'm like, uh, It's two on the button. What do you mean? It's, it's obligated, two on the button. Button blind. He's like, That's terrible. I'm like, Yeah, it is what it is. That's right, red <laughs> pills, and everybody starts bidding. Oh, Pop builder no. is correct. That's yeah. exactly It incites action, because otherwise, since we don't allow a chop, you would have nothing there. We this encourage way. action around here. Guy says to me, can I straddle? I said, encourage it around here. Always. <laughs> we encourage the Always. action. 100%. Uh, yeah. We are on hand 95, blinds 10, 15, 15. That's why we are called the Action Palace. 45, 35, 35, my apologies. Discount. No worries. Eric says 45, actually 35. It's all good. Mark with a queen nine, Kevin with a less nine. 96. Mark open ended. Ooh, a little open ender. Kevin with a check because he didn't hit anything. Mark's going to take that opportunity. Mark's going to down bet continue. And it's going to work. Red pill, you are so right. When we used to have the hundred dollar to three hundred dollar buy in with that five ten game. Yeah, that would be the best action as well. Action right was there. incredible. Yep. Actually you want to know the best game we ever had was before we had no buy -in. limit. The three hundred max buy in? No, on? before oh, okay. we even had no limit. We had a five dollar Annie game. It was a limit game. It was <laughs> unbelievable. Two dollar Annie game, yeah. It was this one was five bucks. Yeah, it was that's great. Bigger than Nine players, forty five bucks in a pot before they even get cards. 
and then right five there. raised by five raised by five, five capped, 15, at 20. capped at 20 yep. it was great it was sick you want to talk about sick action you're not wrong the best action in south florida was back before we had no limit it was it was the limit game even in the beginning of the no limit days where it was oh. 100 dollar max yeah 100 oh. I mean, he's, red pill is right the 510 the 510 the 1 300 dollar buy was amazing it was a shove fast the two fives crazy. back then were 100 dollar max and they were uh they Absolutely. were sick action. Absolutely. That was the best action in South Florida for sure. Somebody was playing at a uh, table thirty last night. I was dealing. Oh, the forty-five dollars sit and goes were tremendous. I too. do miss. I miss <gasps> sit and go days. Yep. Oh my God, they were such nice great. Nice grind sit and goes. Yes. But I'll tell you right now, I had a player and he was from out of town and he said, "Where's the best place? The best action? You want to know the best action? Right here, right now, at this mm -hmm. place. This is where you get the best action." Oh, that's no. what he said last night on table thirty. Yeah. Yeah. He says, any other places you want the best action, it's right here. And that is no lie. If you want to be able to play, you know, blackjack or something else, that's all another story. If you want to play poker and you want action, you come here. Smack dab king in the window for Kevin. Let's see. I just realized that uh, Mark has grinded that four to one chip lead to about a two to one chip lead. Exactly. Mark has played stellar. He has made. Mark's got heart. That's for sure. Man's got heart. He's played every. He's done everything he's right. Got, he's got the skill too. Yep. Everything right. True. This is amazing. This is really awesome. I'm wondering. It's good for TV. Oh, it's good for everything. As <laughs> I said, it's not just entertainment. This is educational. Mark waking up with my 43 or 34 sweetness of love. He says, I'll see a flop. Smack dab or four in the window. Mark hits a pair of checks. That gets Kevin to stab. He says, I go along. I go along for the ride. I got a pair. Smack a dabba. He's still checking. Still check now. Seeing the sign of we Let's see if Mark takes a stab. If Mark, no, I think he's going to, I think he'd rather check call. Yeah. Okay. He'd rather check call instead of bet and pair get fours. raised. Pair fours are good. Because if he does get raised, he knows he loses. It's going to be tough to call a raise. Yep. He knows he would have a loser. I forgot to look at the time when we started this heads up play because I should have been looking um, at that time. I want to say it was it's maybe about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, I was going to say about 15. They went on break at 7.15. We came back about 7.00. 7. 30 and then they maybe played two or three hands so maybe 10 minutes maybe got a lot of hands in in the yeah, past 10 or 15 minutes yeah, yep 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 and 99 smack dab i do believe we are at the century mark hand 100 we are at the century mark and 100 Indeed we are. And 100. <laughs> Taking that one down. Kevin says, I'll, gl I'll gladly take that down. Let's go. Okay, Jaden returning to the box. These guys have just... Great dealers here. Great dealers. Shout out to our awesome production staff, our crew of Sue and Jason, Steffi, Mo, and Tuan. You guys just making us look good. My co-host here, Drew, one of the best in the biz. Best production team in South Florida. I'm pretty sure we're the only one, though. Dab. Actually, that's not true. Hard Rock has uh -huh. a live stream, but they're not as frequent as us. They only do big events. Which means we are more frequent, more consistent, and better by uh, sorry by direct correlation, I, in my opinion. We are the A team. We <laughs> rock the most. Our stream team rocks 
You heard it here. A plus plus. And my mama didn't raise no fools. Yeah, it's the OG old girl speaking. That's right. Who doesn't like it? You can bring it up. Take it up with me. That's right. We are here, what, three days a week? Wednesday Four days Friday. a week. Four days a week. We are here Wednesday we are here. through Saturday on a regular basis. And Correct. then we are expanded coverage when we have our major events. We do have a mm, moneymaker event every, what, two to three months ish? Oh, yeah, moneymaker. Like he that. was just here in February. He's going to be coming back again in May. Ah, uh, true. We have our monster multi I just told you. It's just coming up right around the corner, April okay. 4th through the 7th. That's in a week or two, huh? Yeah, about two weeks yeah. from now. We got the our monthly event, the 100K guarantee. Told of you. Which, as Nancy has mentioned, that tournament uh, always crushes the guarantee. 150, 200, no problem. Don't quote me. It's not guaranteed, but it's it's 99% of the there time. There has be never been a case. I don't where think we've ever been short or we have never been close. Way over 100,000. Right. And time. many times over 200,000. So get in there. $300 buy in. The structure's six, really good, too. Oh, the structure's structure. very good. You get a lot of chips. You, uh, the, str the blinds are pretty long. You get a lot of play. It's a great, great event. And I'm comparing that to a lot of the other. Uh, a lot of casinos are doing the same thing, 100K once a month, and I played a bunch of them. A lot of them have terrible structures on day one. Not us. We have a great structure from the from the get-go and all the way through. Absolutely. From day one on. Other places want to get it done quickly. We want you guys to stay. We want you guys to play. We want you guys to get the poker in. That's right. And once you bag, you're in the money, honey. And then we do expand our coverage. We do stream that. We do feature. Actually, the now that I think about it, I think ours is the only one that goes to day threes. That's because right. Because our structure is so because good. Because our structure is three. so great. Well, Everybody else tries you. to get it done in the first day. We rock and red pill. Thank you. Thank you so much. You rock, my love. You rock. You rock. You rock, red. I know. It's an amazing. We have amazing events here. Kevin, waking up premium, ace 10. Mark, I think he's I think he's trapping here. This could be a big hand. Yeah, Mark has got. He's he's limping, which he's disguising the strength of his hand. And you I think know, he knows I that. know, Jason. And Mark is going to. Yup. So Mark raised. With the canine, the Kevin real canine. Kevin set the trap, and then he actually uh, stomped on the gas. Yeah. Making a three now, bet to one fifteen. This is actually a very sticky spot for Mark because he's been limp raised and he's out of position on this particular hand. Kevin has the button. What's he going to do, Mark? He's made all the good decisions since, I mean, I think he's going to figure it out. Yeah, He does. He, he limped. figures. He limped on the button and then he raised that, says I have a monster. And it's well played by both players there. Well done by both. Now, it, it's fair to know. Ace-10 heads up is pretty strong. Uh, Without a doubt. It's not necessarily a monster in a full ring game, but here, heads up, it's pretty dang it strong. It is a darn strong hand. And Jason, I do remember you, my love. I, I was do. a really slow dealer. At least he's honest. Jason. I don't know. You ever seen Tong Vu? I know, <laughs> I know, I know Tong forever and a day. Love that guy. but Awesome guy. Not the fastest. Mark limps 10-8. Kevin checks 6-5. Ugly flop. Action flop. Bink. Smack dab 10 yeah. in the window. Mark has a pair, but Kevin's going to need some help to continue here. 7? I'll check, check. A 6. All right. We, everybody has a pair. Yep. Kevin leading out. Kevin stab. Now, the, the strength of Mark's hand is pretty well disguised now. So I could see him raising or calling to try to see if he bluffs the river. Yeah, he's going to call. It. Oh, no, he's going to raise. Gonna raise. Yep. It's a well-timed raise. His his 10 is pretty well disguised. It very much looks like Mark has played the hand exactly, or Kevin has played the hand. Like, you know, he turned a pair, bet it. Exactly. And ace on the river, that's not going to be good for either player. Check, check. Yeah, 10 is good. Good job, Mark. Well done. Well done. Oh, my God. You were... <laughs> Jason, you remember, can I get a soft break, table 22? You're so awesome. <laughs> oh, my God, you're so awesome. You remember, you remember. You're amazing, Jason. You're amazing, dear. Can I get a witness? Mark is over here closing the gap. He has is been. He's still got. Mark uh, Mark is now close. He's li less than a two to one chip lead. Yes. Uh, Kevin does, yes. but he's still got the chip lead at this point. But he is he is he's chipping up nicely. Smack that. And there's another pot going Mark's way.
I mean, Mark has just played superbly. But both guys have played superbly. I mean, they're not there for no reason. These guys are here for a reason. They know what they're doing. Yeah, Kevin, it was the whole Kevin show for the first three hours. Uh, it, Mark didn't start heating up until about three or four handed, and then he really started taking off heads up. So he has been fighting, clawing, and scratching, and he's not done yet. No. But, it, I mean, it's literally anybody's game at this point. And 475K now, against 760K. It's anybody's yes, game. Yes. And now you see Mark would not want to chop because I think that's his style. He likes to play heads up. He shows that he's quite proficient at it. That's one thing I know. A lot of people are scared. They're scared to play heads up. They're, they're, they don't know how to play heads up. They don't understand the differences. And uh, and uh, a player who knows should you should always, you know, you should always try to take advantage of those scenarios where you think you have the, uh, the edge uh, skill-wise in heads up play. Absolutely. But it's very common. You have, I see two people, they, they don't want to play heads up. Let's just chop it. It's very common. You know what it is. And a lot of times we also say, you know, they've been playing since 11, 15 in the morning. True, this is true. now, you know, we're, we're looking at true. 8 o'clock at night. Eight, so nine hours later, yeah. You know, Some people get tired. This is not an easy game to sit and you have to grind out. And then somebody else could have also, hey, you know what, I got it. I didn't figure I was going to go this long. I got an engagement, something else. I got to <laughs> go out to dinner. Yeah, yeah. Let's just chop. You know, we get it. Some some people it's we true, know true. have entered into the nighttime tournament. They want to get out get up in the night. Also true. And 109, blinds 10, 15, 15. 45. 45. Three times. Let's go. Let's see what we got here. This is the epitome of heads up right here. Two ugly hands going to a flop. This is heads four. up right there. Yeah, Everybody Mark. misses. Oh, oh Mark, Mark has a four, pair. I said, yeah. And second pair. That's uh, not a bad flop for heads up. Second pair. Mm -hmm. Still the Kevin same. now with two overs and a good shot. It's hard to tell if the two overs are good, but Mark's got no reason not to bet at this point. He's got some info. It's pretty seems yes. pretty clear that Kevin doesn't have a 10. There's a queen for Kevin on the river. Does he bet for value? Does he check call? He's going to check. He's going to check, exactly. I think Mark is not going to like that river. He's probably going to check. Two over cards. A flush got he there. Yeah, to he's going to check. check. You got it. Kevin's going to take it down. Nicely done. 175K pots. That puts, nice. puts Kevin back up over 90 k or over 900K. Okay. Well done. Well done. Yeah, he's... Kevin, Kevin shoots out a bet there. Mark's going to fold anyway. Blinds are up. 10-20. Here we go. Smack dub. Moving on up. Let's see. Kevin sack about 400K. Where he had what? Like 20, 40 something bigs. Now he's down to like 20 bigs. As the blinds go up, a little under four. Kevin's going to raise with a seven, eight, seven off suit. Gets our kennel club K9 hand, Mark. We're going to see a flop. Let's go, let's go. Kennel club hand. See what happens. Nine right in the window. Top here for Mark. He's going to check for deception. Kevin's got a gut shot. shot. I feel like he Little could see bet here. Mark is considering betting into the... Oh, I didn't see him check. check. I actually yeah, didn't see him check. check. Yeah. Right. right. So like I said, Kevin's probably going to stab here because he raised pre. Exactly. That's a hefty bet. Yep. Uh, there yep. it is. There comes it's the pretty easy shove with the top pair. And, and it's going to be a tough fold. call for Kevin. Yes. He's going to show the nine. Kevin's not even looking. <laughs> Kevin's like, yeah, whatever. I knew. I knew. So that that's actually a big hit. That's a big hit now. Because So now the stacks have evened out almost a little bit more. Uh, Kevin, if he's got about 720, that means Mark's got the other 500 and something, 540, 550. Wow. Closing the gap. This is going back and forth here. I'm telling you. Interesting. Awesome play. Everybody doing one hell of a job playing this. And 111. That's a pretty one. King Jack suited. 45. Smack dub, I think so. 
Forte. That was close. We were close. Close. It's close enough. Kevin's not a big fan of folding. So we He's love got two life cards. It's hard to tell. Hearts. Ooh. <laughs> hearts. Loads of hearts. Kevin spikes a trail. Now, Mark Ray's pre. It's probably more likely for him to have the ace. And he's definitely gonna. It's a good one. Yeah, he's got Absolutely. It. He says he's gonna go. Going to go ace. It's actually kind of an action killer. Two aces on turn seven. Without hard a doubt. To bet for Mark. I mean, I guess it could go either way. I mean, it's tough. Ki it's kind of an action killer. Yes. Uh, it gets a little bit harder to represent the ace when two of them are on the board. Without a doubt. And did he hit the heart? He did not hit the heart. The three is good. If we can get, if, if, oh, Kevin, Kevin's going to value nice. that. Going for thin value. Interesting. Love it. Kevin had, or Mark had such a nice flop, and he just went brick, brick. Now. Tables have turned. Way Mark, to go. Mark can only beat a bluff here, and Kevin doesn't have much, but he's got the best hand. He does. If Mark somehow makes a well-timed raise, I think it'll work, but I don't know. It's Now it's it's hard. It's going to be hard to pull this one off. I'm, I'm in your ballpark there because I wow, think he's going to look it up. He win. thinks King High might be good here sometimes. And it isn't. That's going to be a big pot for Kevin. That's a great, great, it's a big great, pot for Kevin. great, yeah. great. He's going to show him this is what I had, the reason I was big there. Big pot for Kevin. That's a great move, though. What a great bet by Kevin. I mean, that's a great, great bet by Kevin's Kevin. Kevin's back up to over a mil. Back and forth. This is what I'm saying. Back and forth. Talk about well-timed move by Kevin. That was amazing. Wait, does he have a mill or does he have 850? Because I'm looking He's at uh, be Mark's, Mark's got four still. He's got to be close. Which means he lost about 100, 150 that hand. So, yeah, I'm assuming yeah. Mark, uh, Kevin probably has 850-ish. Maybe a little more, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, about 850. 850 to yeah. 370. Yeah, they're great. There you go. Small, there you go. There we go. All good. Fixed. It's just 10, 20, 20. Thought it was 15, 20, 20. No. He says option. Let's play cards. Let's go. Just got back. No chop. This we were just talking about a lot of times. Oh, so yeah. hold on, fan. Yeah, we were just talking about this about five or ten minutes ago. Um, it's very interesting to see these guys play it out because it's very common. As you probably know, people make deals b way before this point. And even when they get heads up, a lot of people are like, I'm scared to play heads up, or I just don't want to play heads up. Let's just go home with the money. But these guys have decided to play. They're going for blood. They're going for the jugular. It's amazing. And it's been back and forth. It's really been actually a good matchup. It's been superb. Both players just superb. The action's been great. The Kevin Stack ho great. hovering from 7 to uh, a mil. Always and uh, Mark's stack has been hovering from two to 5,000. They're going back and forth. Sorry, That's two to 500. This has been amazing. Uh, Mark, too much. Too much on the button, bud. Too much. Yeah, there you go. You put too much. There you go. You button is more blind. He said easy peasy, just like that. Sean, how are you, Sean? What's going on? Well, hold him, fan. You are so right. Win. Yep, Win. first place without chopping is the best feeling. Man. It's, you, you earned it's it. It's incredible. You got it. yep. It's incredible. But you always have to remember, we said this too, these guys have been playing since 11.15 in the morning, so it is long haul. Kevin waking up with a Steffi Mowat, say, the Florida hand. Sean, you rock. I love you. That's a healthy bet. 70K, it's pretty healthy. It's going to be hard for Mark to call. Yep, no action there. He says, okay, I don't want you hitting anything. You guys, thanks so much for joining us in the chat. You know, follow, like, subscribe on Twitch, YouTube. You guys know the routine. And if you're an Amazon Prime member, you get this subscription for free. On Twitch. I, I love you so much, Sean. <laughs> And again, heart kissy face emoji. Smack Deba. Six high versus six high. 65 of clubs, though, clubbies. Interesting. He's going to choose the aggressive route. It's a little raise. 
Kevin suited. He is not a big fan of folding suited cards. He's got 65. The bet was 65. He says, I got clubs. Okay, a uh, gut shot for Kevin. Everybody misses. Mark has one diamond on the two diamond board. Yes. He also raised pre. He could continue. Kevin hasn't checked yet. He hasn't checked or bet yet. Oh, he did check. All right, we're over to Mark. He's thinking about stabbing. He's no gonna stab. check. That is a Oof. that's a pair for Kevin with a gut pair and a gut shot. Plus Mark gets a gut gets shot a and a flush draw. And a flush draw. And it's time to bet now. 100K. Pretty healthy sizing. I've got to get out. Got to get out. Perfect bet to take that one down. I'm going to be honest, Nancy. I thought this was going to be over like an hour ago. Oh, smack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smack. It was like we started early. You know, the uh, final table we started were, like maybe 4.30, we 4 4.45 max. And then here we are four hours later. This has been rocking. Three, four hours later. It's rocking been it's, solid. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's it's been exciting. It's been awesome. It's been awesome, my dear. We had, the, we had all of it. We had some big hands. We had some coolers. We had all of it. We had some ups and downs. I mean, it's been amazing play. And everybody has played from... The yeah. moment we started streaming this, it's been great play. There have been no mistakes in anybody's play. Very few. I might have seen one or two, but they were not big ones. No, Everybody's I been mean, very solid. Yeah. And, and, and maybe you've been talking about when, like, somebody Kevin doubling so up shit. Betty yes. maybe be the only yes, one. Yes, because he, but he already he already had some chips in when he raised. He was like, on a blind position. Yeah. and she had short stack, and he was overwhelming majority stack. It wasn't a yeah. He had a big chip it's stack. Not it wasn't a, a it wasn't a big mistake. No, it, it was a minor mistake. Very minor. Well, in like my it said, opinion, it's trying to keep somebody in the action. Just <laughs> doing you a favor. You yeah. I don't even call that a mistake. You already have money in. You're just completing the bet. That's yeah, pretty not much. A uh, everybody's been playing phenomenal. And in Florida, you know what? We, when we hold some of our, like when we have the Money Maker Tour, we actually they do have some a, yeah. a ladies' events there. Um, but our regular tournament schedule, you can go online and look at PBK, look at pbkennelclub.com, our tournament schedule. You can see all the events that we have scheduled weekly. So just go on our website, pbkennelclub.com. And come and play. We had two girls on the final table here just earlier. So, Anne in Florida, come and join us. 1111 North Congress, you know, right across from PB International Airport. Hop on a plane, jump on a bus, get in your car, come and see us. We're here all day, all night. Check. Mark with the mystery hand. I just realized the chip stacks have evened out. Lee is 550 and 650. Unreal. Mark is making a heck of a run and heck of a comeback. Just grinding down Kevin, grinding he him down little by little. Yep. Chipping away. Just Up chipping and down. away. Mark has been very consistent. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Amazing. They're even in chips. Wow. At one point, Kevin had 80% of the chips in play. They were like four-handed at the time. He had 80% he of the chips going into going the heads into up. it. Yeah, yeah, going into he the heads He had 1.1 1. 1 mil. Nuts. What a game. Hell of a game. He had 118. Once again, blinds are 10, 20, 20. All right, we get to sweat it with Mark. No pair, no draw. Some back doors. Kevin's Good time for that. Kevin to yep. min click and probably take it down. Yep. No matter what he had. Mark's not going to get frisky there. He's on the dealer button no matter what he had. Making the move, taking it down. Ooh, a little spade action for Mark. Yeah, here's a couple playable hands. Mark's probably going to raise. Kevin's highly likely to call. 
Oh, a min click? Yeah, oh, Kevin's oh, all over right. that. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Kevin's all over that. We got 100K in the pot. Of course I'm start. calling. King in the window. Interesting. Ooh. This is a no pair, no drop for Kevin, but he's going to lead out for info. Yeah, Interesting I like play. It. I like it. Now, if you're Mark, do we raise here and give away our hand, or do we just flat and disguise it? I feel like he could flat in position and see what Kevin does on the turn. He's got a backdoor flush draw. Yep. He's going to flat, Let's see what go. Kevin does on the turn. He gets to see Mark's last to act. Does he get the spade? Oh, it's a bad card. It's Oof. a bad card Oof. for everybody. It's kind of a good card for Kevin to keep betting. It is. It's a great card for Kevin to keep betting. But I don't know if he's got it. If he, yeah, he's going to slow down. Oh, he's going to check. Which now, Kevin, yeah, Mark has to check there. He wants. Yes. They both want no diamond. No, no, diamond, no diamond. exactly. Diamond's an action killer. Diamond's a God, it's an killer, killer right there. Again, well, let's go back to it. This is a great card for Kevin to bet. He's looking at it. Oh, do I have one? Do I have one? You should bet. You should bet. You do need it. To. You yeah. need to. You need to. Yeah, to take this one down, you got to bet. Absolutely. I don't know. Does he got it in him? Does he got it in I him? I think he does have it in no, him. No, he's, he's not going to. Uh, Mark's going to take this Mark's one down. Mark's going to take it. Kevin needed to make that bet. Drew, Kevin needed to make yeah. that bet. It was actually a good card for Kevin to. It was a perfect card keep for Kevin. telling the story of uh, exactly. having something. Exactly. Getting lucky. Oh, would have been a good because time. Because his original 60K bet, that's, that's, and then when he checked yeah. on the turn, that was now the opportunity to take Maybe the it 60K out. got him the information that, you know, Mark probably has a pair. Maybe he didn't want to stab at it. But again, like I said, um, would have been a good part. To but you also are making. Scare card. Yeah, you're making an inf a bet for information, but you also are making a bet. So you also can, you know, value up on that bet yeah. by making that final bet yep. on the river. Yep, yep, yep. I got a story. Here's my story. And here it came true. Kevin's going to bump it up. King Jack suited. I like it a lot. Is that 50, I think? Cool Jack taking it down. Yeah, boy, this is evened out unbelievably, honey. Unbelievable. What a game. Eight snowman versus seventy six alone. Mark's got a pretty. K whoops, Kevin with a misclick. He just raised out a turn, and Ow. I think he missed an opportunity to make Ow. some chips there. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on. All right, Kevin, you're slipping a little bit, bud. I wonder if he's just getting tired. Though. That would have been a good time. Yeah, it's possible he's getting tired. It's yeah. we're now eight or nine oh hours my God, into the yes. session. They've been playing since eleven fifteen. Absolutely, yeah. my dear. Mark was about to raise. And that would have been the perfect. And then he just folded. He lost the minimum. Yes. Yikes. Yes. Yikes. Expensive error. Very costly error. I hear Betty in the background. Uh, Betty, Betty's Betty's on the rail. Betty. She said, Mark, nice. Betty, our cheerleader. Yeah, oh, it's uh it's interesting to note Mark has finally taken the chip lead. Un six sixty to six fifteen. Unbelievable. Pretty wild stuff, yep. I mean it's I'm expecting incredible. a big hand to happen at any moment, but uh, Mark has just been steadily grinding him down as as you sh as that's one way to get it done, you know. That's not always going to be for all the chips. It's going to be a lot of little pots. Look at we said this before. Every time you're you're collecting chips, putting them on your stack, that's what correct. All wow, that's a big bet. Uh, maybe he maybe Mark does want to get this over with. <laughs> maybe he's getting. But to the now point of he's applying the pressure as the big stack. Now he's yeah. got the chip lead. It's not a blot. Losing a hand right now would be hurtful in an all-in scenario. But. Mark is not scared to apply that pressure. I like to see that. Like I said, he's just been playing it superbly. Phenomenal. Phenomenal gameplay for sure.
and 124. This one could this this could get interesting. Both of them have suited. Both cards. have an eight. Yes. If we can connect on an eight high board. It could get ugly. Both of them suited as well. Mark with about a hundred k chip lead. Oof. Big whiff. Ace girl ace. Little ten action. All right. Mark spikes ten the marks ten. hit a pair, and Kevin has a gutty. And uh, ten's gonna win. Oh, he's gonna bet for value. That's it. Can Kevin call with King High here? He might. He might. He might look him up. It's an interesting. What he bet? Can't see what he bet. He made a small I can't bet. See. No, he doesn't. Oh get a call. no, I couldn't see the. Oh, his bet was good. Discipline fold. I feel like King High could be good there sometimes, but good fold by Kevin. I know the. F I know. I know. I know my Drew. I know my Drew. Oh. Let's for for get get down my head. But it's done. My head is all right. Kevin's got a Ooh, big hand here. Heads niners. up, Mark. Oh, I was gonna say we've oh. seen Mark raise with eight four because he's got the button, but he decided not to this time, and it was such a well timed fold. He doesn't even know how good. Oh, he <laughs> was like the best. Yeah, <laughs> yeah myself. Know. You have no idea what you were up against. We need to have <laughs> We need someone to go take a take a dinner order and bring some dinner back for the stream team. I that think. sounds like a great idea. Where's Oak Tie with the pizza at? Oh, uh, he's playing cards, you know. He's <laughs> playing cards. He's busy. Uh, he's out there grinding away. He is. I yeah, already I know that. It is a Saturday night. Saturday night. I already know where he's at. I already spoke with him. <laughs> 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 he told me later. Okay, okay. He already gotcha. told me later. I already knew it. He, there's only one place he likes to play at. Smack dab. All right. Ooh. Mark with an ace. Kevin with a suited type of hand that I know he likes to play. Oh, he just shoves all in. We can't get action. Nope. Can't get no, no action. No action with that. So Mark is actually doing a good job of grinding it down, but... He's trying not to. I think he's avoiding. Maybe it's. Oh, no. See, now he's out of position. Yes. Mm. I was going to say, maybe he's trying to avoid playing out of position. But he did that from the button. He did it from the button. I guess, you know, you see an ace, you shove all in. You probably have the best hand heads up. I just feel like you could get some value out of it. Play I a couple streets of poker. I think you're correct, Drew. Yeah, it could go either way, I guess. You know, you Mark know is doing what? better than I am, I'll tell you that. Let me tell you something. There's no shame in either one of these guys' games. They're playing yeah. great. You're right. Kevin limps with ace five. We're gonna look. See it's gonna be hard to put Kevin on an ace when he limps on the button with one. Yeah, so we put an ace on the flop good. and it's well disguised. There oh it right, is. there it is. There it is. Pretty well disguised. Perfect. Bit. Oh he didn't. Okay, he he's didn't really bet. disguising his hand here. Mark might think any pair is good. He could bet a jack or a ten here, which Ooh. is what I'm guessing he's doing. Kevin with a big wait. I thought he said 135. Kevin, yeah, no? Kevin bet and Mark called. Oh, okay, gotcha. King of the right river. Right now. Yikes. Oof, that's ugly. Wow. Now Mark there's the lead out for Mark. And I don't know if he has it or not. It's such a good bet. <sighs> he I bets feel like 100k. Mark, yeah, Mark could have a uh, king 10, jack 10, king 10. He's he's got a lot of two Just pair think combinations if he had in his a girl. hand. He's got the queen too. Oh, yeah. Oh, if he got a girl. He could easily have a queen there. Wow. Wow. Wow, now, I was right. Mark yeah. moving into the two to one chip lead range. Oh my lord. He's running away with it. Wow. I can see the frustration on Kevin's face. Yeah, he's only been here with Momentum is not hours. his way anymore. No. Yep. It was about three hours in a row of the oh Kevin show. God. And now the channel has changed <sighs> to the Mark show. Although Mark's playing phenomenal poker. Well, Mark has yeah. just been playing. I want to say he's a heads-up specialist. I'm sure he's done this quite a few times. It's pretty obvious to see I that he knows what he's I doing. I yeah. I that's why he didn't want to chop. I don't want to. I don't want to diminish uh, Kevin's game. I'm not going to say he doesn't know what he's doing, but Kevin is definitely playing well. But Mark is playing super well. Like I said, they're both playing so superbly. Yeah. It's just I can see the. The cards are starting to go Mark's way. And not only that, Kevin is getting tired. I see. Yeah, that makes some sense. 
like when he raised out a turn by accident, it's possible That's he made the mistake a because total he's a little tired. tired. Yeah, yeah. He made no mistake like that all three right through. You have right, to remember right. there is an age differential here. <laughs> I hate to say it, oh, but I didn't it's even true. Notice. No. Yeah, it's no, true. Yeah, yeah, no. You know, Kevin's not an old man in any way, shape, but Mark no. is definitely a youngster compared to Kevin. Right. Kevin is a more seasoned player, but Mark is a lot younger. Right. So the tired, you know, because this is tiring. People think, oh, it's not why do you say? No, you don't get it. There's a mental and physical fatigue in this that most people don't quite yeah, understand if they've not played the game. It's, you know, there's no doubt about it. We have Eric back in the box. Oh, Eric coming and addressing Kevin. What? Where did all those chips go? Eric, don't say it. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't say it. We are on hand 130, Drew. Kevin's got the mystery hand, but he's going to lead out, and he's going to take this down. Oh, did he? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, he did. Okay. He took it away. I said, I thought I saw him, but <laughs> I said, am I losing my mind? Mm -hmm. No, I haven't nope. lost it yet. You're not going crazy. Not yet. Thank you. <laughs> Still got some time, man, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. It may happen. <laughs> but, but it's not there yet. Line still 10, 20, 20. No, wrong, Eric. No, wrong, no, wrong, no, Eric. no, 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 no. <laughs> wrong, Eric. Fix it. Kevin. Fix it. Kevin is not the Eric, big blind. Eric, see it. Eric. Eric, see it. Eric. Mark, Eric. Mark's Eric. not either. Eric. Eric. Eric, fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice. And we're back. Good job, Eric. Only took him 12 seconds longer than it should have. That's all right. It was done. It got fixed. Did Kevin just flat. Blind? 75 total. Mark going to raise it up. Oh, uh, maybe he did look. Oh, smack dab. Mark's ma Mark makes the raise, takes it down. It's all right. It all got fixed. Better late than never always gets fixed. We can fix anything. That's why we're the A team. A team in the house. Stream team rocks. Again, a shout out. Eric. Jaden doing a great job dealing this tournament. Kevin started this tournament today. Donnie's oh. holding it down tonight. Mark accidentally running it. Posted twice. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Good job, Eric, of recognizing and fixing it. Good he job, Eric. It. Yeah. yeah. We can he fix it. He saw this. that Mark didn't look at his cards yet when he posted the ten. All right, flatting on the button with the king, and they both have king five. Interesting. Four oh. different suits. They got all the suits covered. <laughs> And a rainbow flop to boot. Here's a chop pot. Because Mark's going to bet. Kevin's going to call. Dab. He's gonna second pair. Smack dab. Wow. Mark. Mark's might, still leading out. Might get the best hand, the chop to fold. I wonder. 35K. Nope. There was the call. Oh. Check, check. Check, check now. Chop it up. Chop it up. Five. Smack dab. You guys, amazing, amazing. Again, shout out to our production crew. Sue, Steffi, Mo, Jason, Antoine, making it all look good. And a chop pot heads up, the big blind actually loses chips. He loses half of his ante. Absolutely. So that's a win for Mark. Small one. A win is a win. In the W. 100%. In the W call.
All right, we get to sweat with Kevin. Smack dab. There comes a bet. Kevin says, I'm going to lead out. Mark's not ready to fold. Oh, Ooh, those are raising shoes. Yeah, slow raising. down, Eric. Slow down. He's about to pull in the bets. Snap fold from Kevin. Another good play from Mark, no matter what he had. Not many draws on the board, so. No. I don't think he had King Jack. I think he would have raised. Jack nine could have been in his range. Any pair was in Any his range. Any pair, yes, yeah. exactly, my dear. Look, like heads up play. This yep. range has opened up a great deal anyway. Yep. Mark, nice hand, 6-5 with the diamonds in his favor. Oh, then. Snapshot from Kevin. That'll take down. Oh. It'll take it down. He says, I got it. I got I got this. You know what? I know sometimes Hold'em fan, they just need to spread them out in the box just quickly so they can get a read. Sometimes, and sometimes they just don't read. Uh, we don't. We haven't. I haven't figured out know. why yet. But every now and then, there's a technical glitch. It's not 100 percent. It's unfortunately, it's about 90 percent, but not 100. Oh, it's pretty damn good. I mean, good. look, they're they're putting the cards in the box. Yeah, look, look, they're both putting the cards yeah. in the box. Sometimes. Sometimes they one might don't. be a little bit slightly over the other one that it won't read correctly. Ah, uh, yeah, true. You know, it happens. It's snapshot from Kevin. Snapshot from Mark. Taking it down. So that's why I hold them fan. A lot of times Blinds you'll see them. Up. They've moved like a card on top of another one, and that'll kind of disrupt the reader. But it's working pretty. I'd say. So now Kevin just had about 20 big blinds, and now that the blinds went up, he's down to about a little over 10, maybe. 15, yeah. not even. Yeah. 10 or 12 bigs. Right. It's, it's been the Mark show ever since we went heads up. Oof. Mark has definitely chiseled away at that castle of Kevin's. Lines are now at 15, 30, 30. 75K every other hand. Unbelievable. It's getting up there for sure. We should see some fireworks pretty soon. Mark's got a flat. Kevin's got five high. Wow, he stomps. Wow. Yeah. Way to go, Kevin. And shows the bluff. To see? He, wasn't, what even, I can he do. wasn't even ahead by much. He was just, or I'm sorry, he wasn't behind he by, by much. much. It was practically a 60-40 flip there. Oh. I mean, Mark can't call with a 6-4. Uh. Even if he knew he had 5-3, I mean, it's hard to call. Ooh, Jack-10 of clubs versus the 8 tray of diamonds. And right in the window. It's pretty obvious. Mark knows he has the best hand. Yep. I like how Eric is not throwing the button. He's doing the thing that I said. He just places just it. Just placing it. Side of the right board. within That's all you really his reach. Do. Yeah, you don't have to throw it every time. It doesn't have to be. Right in front of them. Just has to be on the half of the table. The we don't have to ask the guys, and we just keep going, and it's all good. Everybody's good. Everybody's great here. Mark with the mystery. See, he's got his cards right on the box, yeah. and we can't see him. It just happens sometimes. Yeah, like I said, sometimes they're moving him in one it, card it slightly on top of another. It could be the cards. It could be the movement. It could be who knows. And when they're putting him in one card slightly on top of another, then it won't read correctly. True. It's you know, those little technical glitches. It's, hey, but well when they're not reading, then it's like we're sitting at the table. 
You know, true. we don't know what they got, so we're gonna guess. Very true. Smack dab hand one forty two blinds fifteen thirty thirty. This has been incredible. These guys have been playing since eleven fifteen mm. this morning, and it is eight thirty. I'm getting tired myself. Eastern daylight savings time. I'm ready for a nap. Oh, dude, dude, can take, <laughs> a, take a snooze. Drew says I'm gonna take a snooze. Kevin, I like that seventy six of love. Raised to 65K. Mark is like, all right, I got nine high. I'm going to let it go. I like the raise. Show another bluff. Kevin can't show another bluff. They don't want to show it too many times. Kevin's not done fighting, man. He's really not done fighting. Hey, I told you. No shame in either one of these guys' game. Smack He's what? Smack. <laughs> <laughs> you rock. Yes, ma'am. In the house. It's the OG old girl with this gorgeous Drew. Mark yep. Queen. Did he just say check, even though he didn't call it? Oh, he said all in. <gasps> We're going all in it's with it. the queen high against jack high. Wow, look at this. Holy smokes. This is a heads up hand for sure. Kevin's like, I'm done with this. Let's go. Let's get it in. Wow, what's going to happen? Oh, man. Oh Miss. Good job, Eric, slowing it down so we can I discuss like how many outs we got. Oh, he hits a three, but it doesn't a matter. He's, he still needs a jack or seven or a six at this point. Wow, wow he hits a seven. Smack, it's a seven. Seven on Kevin the river for Kevin. He seven. finds a double. Wow, he's up to wow. 700K. We're not done. Just like that. Just like that. Wow. What a river card. Kevin, way to go. Just, just like that. That's amazing. He says, you know what? You go all in. I'm tired. I'm ready. I call, snap, call, seven and a river. Yeah, that was wild. I mean, wow. I, I think it was a good, sh it was really a good shove by Mark, even though he barely had the best hand. I think Kevin was just like a, you know, like a, you know, he screw said, it. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Yeah. Let's go. Screw I thought it, it was it great. In, yeah. He's just snap called. He says, let's go. Nice river for Kevin. Waited wow, way, what a run way out. Way to, oh. What a run out. Now he's back up there. Kevin back with the chip lead. Heck yeah. For the, <laughs> you, you think I'm done? I'm not done. Yep, yeah, Mark had it there for a couple of minutes. Kevin took it back. Actually, Mark was looking like he was going to run away with it because Kevin was down to about 250 when he exactly maybe a little bit less, maybe three. Or sorry, point. 250, 300, something like that. Because now he has seven. So he's got right. Mark back to what five, six hundred. So they're about even six to six ish. Yeah. Yes, exactly, dear. Exactly. Yeah, that's what I'm looking at. No. I find out the walkie talkies. The cards. And the cards and everything because I was the only one who was the first one here. Yeah, we, we kind of both were. Mark with <laughs> pocket yaks. Oh, yeah, we got here yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Mark with a pocket yaks. What's the bet size? Ooh. Kevin with a suited jack. This could get a little This could get dicey. Yeah. Mark making a three bet. Kevin making a call. Ooh. Interesting. Ace one, on the flop. Yeah, one diamond there. Backdrop. Backdoor flush draw for Kevin. Mark going to see where he's at with a bet. 75 into 200. Tough one for not Kevin to gonna, call. Yeah, I totally not agree. Not going to continue here. I totally agree. Can't blame him. You'd have to feel real frisky with that one. Friskies. There was a cat food. Friskies. <laughs> Just going old school. Got to give a little entertainment here. Of course, of course. He had 145 through blinds, 15, 30, 30. Queen, 7 versus 10, 6. There we go. Mark, making a raise. He got position. He said, I can take it. I can take it just like that. Just like that. Oy. He 
You guys, thank you so much for joining us in the chat. You guys know, follow, like, subscribe. We're on Twitch and YouTube. You know it. And for Amazon Prime members, the subscription is free. Actually, on YouTube, you can click the subscription button for free as well. As well. Correct. Twitch, if you have a Prime Twitch, uh, is free get a then. free subscription. Correct. Right? Correct. I do believe you would avoid commercials. And uh, I don't remember the Twitch rewards. Mm. I don't know. Do we have any emotes? I don't know. Steph, do we have emotes on Twitch? Negative? All right, it's fine. No. <laughs> Maybe it's something coming down the pipeline. Ooh. Hey, uh, Kevin with the snap shove. Kevin. Mark made a raise. Kevin oh, snap shove. Absolutely. And Mark's going to lay it down now. Kevin's I like picking it. up the hands. Yep. Kevin's saying, I'm picking up the moves. I'm going to get and my we're move. we're back to about even. Like Stella got her groove back? <laughs> yeah, Kevin got we're his groove back. Even. They both Spread got about 20 bigs. It's down. literally anybody's game. You ain't kidding. Wow, they're about almost dead even. Holy Just moly. about 600. Mark's it all in. Yeah, Mark shoves with the King Jack. Yeah. Gets Kevin to fold. Mark has a slight chip lead now. Not by much. Yowza. This has been incredible. This has been incredible. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Without a doubt. Amazing, amazing. I wonder if we're going to reach the two and a half record-breaking Heads up play that I don't think it's gonna happen on this one. But what time did we say we started? About seven thirty of this. Yeah, we're over an it's hour. Been about an hour, yeah. Yeah, probably a little over. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna go another hour, but who knows? Like I said, they both got twenty bigs. I mean, who knows? The blinds go up again. They're gonna have ten bigs. It's gonna be <laughs> close. And you have to remember that was our mon monster multi-flight. That diamond. was a way different yeah, structure. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yep. yep. Very slow structure. Oh yeah. the very blind. long blind levels. Yes, exactly. Different. A lot of more chips in play. Without uh, a doubt, that's uh, just, yeah. everything is different in that one. Yeah. but that's but definitely for, the record. But for right now, for our regular Saturday yeah, tournament, yeah, you're not wrong. This, this for a daily, is yeah, amazing. For a daily, this is pretty long. Record-breaking heads-up play right here on a regular, on a regular daily tournament. Eighty-five thousand. Little raised Going to see a flop. Ten five versus queen yeah. seven. I see a queen hey, girl up there. Right in the window, yeah. Mark has a gutty. Yeah. One thirty five. Yeah. That'll work. That'll make it happen. That will do it. Mm. <laughs> oh, Betty. I hear you, Betty. Betty, cheerleader, Betty. Back in the house. Quick take down by Kevin, and we'll move into the next hand. Back and forth, hanging around, back and forth. No phones on the table. Smack dab, <laughs> I know. It does interfere with the. Look, you heard me. He says he heard you. You heard me. It will interfere with our equipment. It's true. Potentially, yeah. Did Kevin just walk away? Wait, we're what? just. Wait, what? Wait, what? I'm, I'm. That can't I be right. I did. Well, that what? can't be right. There's no way. 
Eight don't deuce, know. maybe. Queen eight suited? That's I'm not even. I'm not sure. Kevin doesn't know, know how to fold hands like that. Are you kidding me? He's kind of telling you. I ain't seen him. <laughs> he said, what? Wait a second. Hand yeah, one, five, one. All right. Don't get to see what Mark has. Doesn't matter. He Next says, hand. I don't want it. Moving on. I don't want it. I don't want it. Good job, Eric. Like keeping it. the pace. He's keeping the pace I moving. Like These guys it. are locked in. They're in the zone. Ke uh, Eric is shuffling a lot at he this is, point. He is just super. I yeah. told you, the dealers are just doing a great job. Yeah. The dealers are doing a great job. Our Race. production crew is amazing. Race to 90. Our duel's running the Not tournament today. do it. Next hand. Just awesome job done by everybody. Production, Steffi, Mo, Sue, Jason, and Tuan just making us look good killing it hell yeah killing it eric Jaden, dealing this event awesome dealing great job by both dealers and our duels kevin earlier Don donnie as this evening wow just running these turns just snap shoved with king deuce Ooh, snap! he says i just snap shoved kevin Can not kevin gonna says, do it wouldn't be prudent you ain't gonna fool me I'm going to fool mm. this. Everybody. That tall Josh, none of this would be without you. We love you, that tall Josh. And all you guys in the chat, oh, my God, thank you so much for joining us. Love having you in the chat. K9 for Kevin. It's the Kettle Club. Huh? 90. 90. Liking that three times. Liking that three times. He says smack Deba. Yep, Kevin back with a chill blade. Itching his way back. Mark shoves. Oh, MG. Wow, he wow. got the best hand of fold, which we've seen him do plenty of times. He get the best hand of fold pretty, oh, pretty regularly. Mark back on his track to Mark do that. Mark might be going for the record, actually, of amount of times he got the best hand of fold in I one think, tournament. Yeah, I think you're <laughs> right. I think you're right, Drew. I think he's got the top score. He has been able to make the better hand fold. Applying a lot of pressure, max yeah. pressure. Mark waking up with them sexy mm. sixes, but Kevin you know what? Cannot. Kevin cannot play the 9-3 off. Not at all. That's yeah, look at this. Chips are moving back and forth, back and forth very fast. Eric's good good job keeping the pace. You can see 20 this. bigs. They both got 20 bigs. I That's know. it. 50-50. Even, Steven. Even Steven right there. 51-49. Oh, my they, God. It's only 20 bigs. Like it's, oh, my God. It's one all in away from the game being I done. Yeah, heck yeah, Drew. Heck yeah. Here it comes. Did Eric just say heads up in a heads up tournament? Yeah. That's funny. It's that's all right. That's funny. <laughs> it's habit. It's I, okay. Uh, I ain't gonna put him out there like that, but it's hard not to notice. It's just habit. It is a silly thing to say, I'm gonna be honest. It's like a force of habit. It's a habit. <laughs> but at the same time, you've been dealing heads up for how long? An hour now? I know, but you know what? Heads up. He's just in case you guys didn't know. He's your also heads up. been they've also been <laughs> He's I'm also been dealing forever in a day. God, give the I, guy a uh, break, I gotta, make, I gotta make fun I somehow. I know. Everybody's <laughs> a critic. Jeez <laughs> Louise. Yeah. I'm not, because yes. I know after a while, you know what? I've done it. We've all done it. No shit. Oh, we can't get hands. Come oh. on. We need some hands. We need to see some real hands. Got to get something running. Got to get something rolling. Got to get up to get down. Get down. All right, come on. Queen nine suited. Ace queen. Here we Ooh, go. This could be the one. Let's girl, go. what a big A is my girl, Steffi Mo would say. <gasps> he shipped all in with the queen nine suited. He's going to get snap called by Kevin. 100%. Wait, he hasn't snap called yet? He hasn't. There, there it, it is. is. Wow. Oh. Who's got the chip lead? 
Well, wow. Kevin had this Mark, light chip lead. No, this might be the any, first yeah. mistake that he's made. I just think it was just oh too big. Oh, my I mean, gosh. like I said, it's 20 big, so we're looking to get it in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's got a backdoor club draw. He does. Oh, my God. He oh spikes no, a nine no, on the turn. It's over. Oh, my gosh. Wow. It's over. He's got him covered by, like, 20K, I think. K, I think, I think. So it's real close. Wow. Oh my God! Yes, that just the other four, hand put him over. Three, four, five, right. Oh my God! O M G! Wow, what? Kevin, uh, just double checking. But what yes, a heads-up battle it's it been! You're not kidding, Drew. And what a final hand it was! Oh a three my outer scenario God! For Mark. Kevin played great. Kevin got the money in good. He got unlucky right there at the end. Mark taking it down. His first, uh, this was as he was telling me, it was his first live stream table he's ever been on, and he is one for one so far. It's over. Oh, good job, Eric. Eric. He double over. verified the chips because it was no, just yeah, a course. prior It was hand. very close. It was so close because they were, they were within Kevin 20 or 30 K in the lead. Yeah. The, yep. the, hand, the two hands before, wow. and that prior hand that gave, oh my God. Well, let's kind of come over here, my dear. Uh, crack kills oh Eric. Oh my God! Crack kills. Hey, Drew. Yeah, that was that was wild. Holy smokes! First of all, congratulations to both Mark and Kevin. Mark is going to take home first, as you can see, for three thousand sixty-one dollars, and Kevin is going to take home second for one thousand eight hundred ninety-three. Mark came back from a four-to-one chip lead, or if yeah, he was down, underdog, four-to-one underdog lead, yes. going to the heads of battle. Grinded, grinded. They went back and forth, back and forth. Those guys really uh, put their heart and soul into this one. This it was fun was to watch. Incredible. It was great. It was a great experience. They played heads up. Not every up. day. Not every day you get to see something like that. No. Hour and 15 minutes of heads up play in this tournament. Oh they both started at 11.15 this morning. I mean, it was spectacular. Nobody made mistakes. I'm Everybody tired. Played. I'm tired just watching. Everybody played superbly. Congratulations to all you guys. We would love this every week. It's just amazing. It was amazing. And for all you guys joining us in the chat, cannot thank you enough. A shout out again to our production crew. That was Jason and Steffi Mo, Sue and Tuan making us look good. Kevin started this day tournament. Donnie dealing the night, you know, handling the nighttime tournament. Our dealers, Eric and Jaden, what a job was done. And this guy next to me, what a pleasure. Drew. What a day. What a night. What do we got coming up? We said we got. Uh, well, we've got about two uh, weeks. We got the hundred K coming up. Don't we got forget the to check us out. Monster Multi Flight April four through seven. Three hundred dollars buy. Saturday. We'll be back next Wednesday we for will. our dailies. Wednesday, we'll. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's what it is. That's the schedule. Don't forget, like, follow, subscribe. Absolutely. And guess what? Get the notification Share. button because guess Share. what? Share. Tell we, your friends. We come back on a Wednesday. Get that little notification button. You know when we go live, it'll tell Turn you. Turn the noties on. Absolutely. Drew, what a pleasure. It's been awesome. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you back here Wednesday. Go on our website. Good night, Chad. We love you. Go on our website, pbkennelclub.com. Get all the info. The Monster Multiflight. You'll see all of our events going on. We already advised you. Thanks for joining us. Good luck, guys. Good night. We'll see you guys back here on Wednesday. Thank you, Drew. You rock. You